Tonight is our weekly live Q&A. Uh, so welcome. I'm glad you're here. We do this every Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, and it is a live Q&A. So we do a couple different things here. Uh, first and foremost, ask your questions and I will be happy to try to help you on your journey uh, with Caternix Quail. So that's first. Uh, if you want to let us know where you're from, uh, it's always interesting to see where everybody's at. It's very cool. Uh, if you've hatched eggs from us this week and have not given me the numbers, feel free to let me know. I will write those down for you. Um, and uh, we will put those in our records <clears throat> uh, to, you know, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> uh, we'll put it in our records so that we can update the hatch, uh, the shipping hatch. Um, that was rough. I'm sorry. Let's start over, shall we? Um, so we do those three things. And then obviously, if you want to support the channel, I'd greatly appreciate it. if you just hit that like button and support the channel. That would be fantastic. Um, I do have a couple of announcements. We do that on here as well. Um, and so usually in the past, we take donations on our YouTube live for the 18 and under contest. But just in case you missed it, uh, we are caught up through February with the donations, so we will not be taking any uh, 18 and under contest donations. If you still wanna donate, there's a dollar sign in the comment section. Uh, we will put that towards the YouTube channel, uh, and we will be uh, purchasing stuff to do better videos for you and give you better content, but you do not have to, uh, and the like button is free, so I just wanted to let you know about that. Uh, I do have a couple of, of announcements. So it is uh, a community setting tonight. Uh, so every Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we go live, but we chat. We all hang out. It's a nice community where we all get together. Uh, it does go on for quite some time, but that is okay. Uh, but if you are new or you don't have the time or whatever the case may be, and you just want your questions answered um, on Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm trying to do a different time zone to help them. Uh, but Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, it is a quick live Q&A. There's no announcements. There's no chatting. There's no where you're from. There's no hellos. It's just ask your question and I answer and we go real fast to kind of help a bunch of different people. Um, so we do have that. Now, I will be going live tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm actually going to be live on Whiskey Tango Farms YouTube channel and myself and Whiskey Tango Farms and Chris from Slightly Redneck will all be on there. It is going to be a short 20 minute, 15 minute kind of thing, but we've got a big announcement. Um, so we are all going to share that with you. So if you can, we would love for you to be there at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which I believe is 6.30 central time, but I could be wrong because I don't know. Uh, but 7.30 Eastern Standard Time tomorrow night on Whiskey Tango Farms. I'll be getting off and coming straight here uh, on my channel to do the live Q&A. So that's that. Um, so I'm very excited about that. Um, also, uh, we are doing some major renovations into in the quail barn. We started last week and I have the mindset that I just want to get stuff done. Um, and we did not finish. It's about a three week project. Uh, so this week we'll be doing a video on it. And uh, I think that a lot of people are going to be able to take a lot of stuff away from this. Uh, so make sure that you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon for notifications. Uh, cause this is going to be a great video. I'm very excited about it. And, uh, so we'll get that to you sometime this week. Um, let's see. We do have a lot of jumbos out of stock. Everything else is on in stock on the website. Um, I'm going to be honest, I don't even know what's off. The jumbo white wings, the jumbo whites, and the jumbo Egyptians are all off the website, I do believe, and they will all be back on January 1st. I do believe the jumbo mix is still on the website, but if it is not, then they will be back on January 1st. And the jumbo wilds were projected to be back on the website January 1st. Um, but I've hit a snag. Uh, we had a massive issue in the brooder this week, and we lost uh, quite a bit of Jumbo Wilds. Um, so I'm going to have to wait an extra week um, to put those back on. So those will be back on January 7th um, because I have to recoup from what we lost. Uh, very devastating. 
found out this morning. So uh, I apologize about that. Uh, the videos we did this week was goal setting. I hope you watched it. Uh, let me know what you think of it. And we did quail math, uh, the first part of it. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed that as well. If you've not watched them, make sure you check those out. Um, and I will be doing a short. Uh, it's really just a YouTube video that's less than 15, 15 seconds long. I'll be doing a short on Tuesday, and I hope you can check that out because I need your help. Uh, so watch for that as well. I think that is all the announcements. Okay, so let's get started, shall we? Um, also, I saw two donations. Uh, oh, dear God, what did I do there? Uh, Ed got bait. Merry Christmas. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. I appreciate your support. Uh, and uh, that will go to a good cause. Um, so I appreciate you. We're going to up our game on the YouTube channel this year. And uh, we're that obviously takes money. So thank you very much, Ed got bait. And Freedom Quail Farm donated $10 as well. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, and uh, again, we're going to put that back into the YouTube channel to give you better content and I'm very excited about it. Uh, the Nurture Right 360 video is ongoing, um, but I have to do the whole um, hatching process. So they are supposed to go into lockdown Friday. Uh, so they'll be hatching the Monday after Christmas. Uh, so that video will be coming out sometime next week. Um, so watch for that as well. And of course, Merry Christmas. I will... Uh, I'll see you tomorrow, and we'll do a couple videos, but if you only do the Sunday Night Live, Merry Christmas to all. I hope you all have a great time uh, and a great holiday, and uh, we will see you next week, um, and we'll talk all about Christmas. Um, Dale's Quails just donated $20 Merry Christmas from our homestead to all of yours. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Again, that's going to go right back into the YouTube channel to get you better content. Uh, I'm hoping at the beginning of the year I'm actually going to talk to Dale's Quails and come up with a video that we can do together. I have some ideas, so I'm very excited about that, uh, but we will see if he has time to do it as well. Uh, so hint, hint, I'll be contacting you soon, Dale. Um, all right, I think that's all the announcements. I've bored you enough. Let's get to the question, shall we? Um, if you missed it, because I know the first couple of seconds is an ad, and I apologize about that, but uh, we do a couple of different things here on our YouTube Live. Ask your questions. I will get to them. This does go for a long time. Mondays at 8 p.m., it's real fast. So if you just have questions and you don't want to hang out with the community, that is completely okay. Uh, but show up tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I will go fast, and you will get your answers very quickly. Um, let us know where you're from. It's always interesting to see where everybody's at. And uh, if you've hatched eggs from us this week and not told me the hatch rate, feel free to let me know and I will write that down and hit the like button, subscribe. Here we go. Uh, Shelly C's in the house from Wooster, Ohio. Welcome, glad you're here. Uh, Jasmine Bass is in the house. Hello, fellow quail fanatics and friends. Looking forward to all the discussions tonight. Tuning in from chilly Southwest Missouri. Welcome, I'm glad you're here. Uh, Jasmine is our admin on the Self-Sufficient Quail Group on Facebook, and she is doing a fantastic job. Uh, I'm very, very proud of all the work she is doing and uh, feel very guilty that I am not helping right now. Uh, but I will try to do a little bit better. But she's 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 excelling. So um, we just got a donation from Confused for ten dollars. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And again, that will go right back into the YouTube channel uh, to give you better content. And I am uh, very focused on YouTube this year because I think that part of our success can be that you're successful. And uh, so giving you better content and more information. Um, and more detailed information, more facts, more stuff, um, I think will help all of us. So I'm very excited about it. Um, Shelly C says, nursing one of my hens who hit her head while listening, while listening tonight, uh, do they ever recover from concussions? It's possible, but it's very unlikely. Uh, it's a small chance. Um, not usually, but it has happened. I have seen it happen. I uh, put one in a cage, bef uh, well, just recently I put one in a cage uh, that hit hit her head and she was a, a beautiful color. I really, I was miserable. And uh, so I put her in a cage and, and I was gonna deal with it in a little bit. I went back to call it and she was acting okay. So I left her in the cage for about four days 
and uh, she was producing, she was eating, she was drinking, she weighed the same weight, um, because that is a big sign. If they're not gonna do well, they stop eating, they stop putting on weight, they stop maintaining the weight. Um, so I checked it, and uh, after four days, I put her in another Wynola Ranch cage with another male and a couple of hens, and uh, two weeks later, I put her back into the breeding program. She was doing fine. Um, so, uh, so it's possible, but that's a one off. So just keep that in mind. Um, Garcia shorts is in the house. Welcome. Glad you're here. Jeff Martin is in the house from Nebraska. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. Um, uh, while we're waiting, Homestead is in the house. They have had a lot of success this year on their homestead. So, uh, congratulations to you. Good evening, Quail family. Hope all are doing well. Do you find this homesteading life extra busy right now? We haven't even had time to put up a Christmas tree. Uh, funny you say that. Um, yes, it is a busy time of year for homesteading. Uh, you are not alone. And uh, we have not gotten a tree either. Uh, we were supposed to get a tree on Tuesday. Well, we were supposed to get a tree two weeks ago, but somebody had to come over. We had to watch babysit for somebody else, so we didn't do it. And then last Tuesday, we were supposed to do it. And uh, Madison, my youngest daughter, uh, got real sick and uh, got a t temperature up to 103, took her to the ER, stayed there all night, and uh, so we still didn't get a tree, so I'm doing it tomorrow. Um, so I'm gonna get orders out and start at 6 a.m. Hopefully I'll be done around two. I'm gonna go pick up a tree, come home, we're gonna put it together, do our regular tradition, which is hot chocolate and a movie, and hopefully I will be done before I gotta go live. Uh, so busy time, yes. Um, Anne says, hello, Quail friends. Warren, Ohio is in the house. That is not too far away from me. Welcome. Glad to hear, neighbor. Shelly C says, any advice on my concussion hen? Not that I know of. Uh, either they get through it or they don't. I, I didn't do anything, um, but most of them don't, so maybe there is something, but not that I know of. Um, unfortunately, I'm sorry. Um, you just got to wait and see. Uh... Freedom Quail Farm is in the house. Welcome. Glad you're here. Uh, plus, thank you for the donation again. Jasmine Bass is in the house. Um, Cajun Kayaking uh, says, hello. Welcome. Glad you're here. I don't know why that was so hard for me to read, but I was very scared that I was going to mess that up, but I don't think I did. Uh, welcome. Glad you're here. Um, Moon Outdoors is in the house. Hi, all. Ohio here. A lot of Ohioans tonight. Welcome, everyone. Uh, save for Fi? That's all I see. Uh, well, welcome. Glad you're here. And uh, they say greetings. Uh, what the Quail Farm says, hello, quail and hello, fellow quail enthusiasts. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. Uh, Shelly C is in the house. Um, La Rochelle Farm is in the house. Hello, everyone. Cold night here in Connecticut. Good thing for American seasoned wood BTU. There you go. Absolutely. And uh, La Rochelle Farm is also having a lot of success lately with their quail business. So congratulations to you as well. Flu the Coop Farms is in the house. Welcome. Uh, PJ's Family Farm is in the house. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. JL Murphy is in the house. Good evening, all from uh, Southeast Georgia. Welcome. Glad you're here. Uh, PJ's Family Farm is in New York, uh, so we're all over the place tonight, which is very cool. Veronica is in the house from New York as well. Uh, glad you're here. Trudy Maddox is in the house. Trudy and Richard, hello from Clinton, Arkansas, where it turned winter for two or three days. Yeah, it's been crazy here as well. It's been up to the 60s. It's been down to the 20s. It's been all over the place, so it's kind of crazy. Um, but welcome. I'm glad you're here. Uh, Jasmine Bass says, got my thumbs up in already. Well, thank you very much for the support. I appreciate it. Hit the like button, support our channel. Uh, Cajun is from Louisiana. Welcome. Uh, quick question. Uh, when my Shire talks about weeks, is it the start or the completed week? That is a very good question. Uh, it is the completed week when I'm talking about quail math. I did that video this week. Uh, so it's the end of week eight uh, is when we butcher. That is a very good question. And I should have put that in the video. I apologize. Um, I'm actually going to write that down as one of my notes uh, so that when I do future videos, I make that more clear because that is that that is a very good question. Uh, 
Very good question. Um, La Rochelle Farm says, Zach, 63% hatch rate on jumbo mix with whites subbed with Fab Fee. I remember. I was not expecting to have even that with the way USPS handled the box and delay in delivery. I like the numbers, and uh, yeah, I know that we had kind of talked and uh, weren't expecting a lot, but 63% on uh, the issues that you had. That is fantastic. So congratulations, and uh, 60 on, it was the jumbo mix, but it was minus sub fab fee. Excellent. Congratulations. Carrie Cowherd is in the house. Hi, everyone. Merry Christmas from Southwest Missouri. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. Uh, Jesse Mills is in the house. Good evening, everyone. Driving Loretta around looking at Christmas lights while listening tonight. Well, welcome. Glad you're here. And uh, Loretta, I hope you're having fun. And uh, hopefully you're doing pretty well with the hatch that you just had. Uh, Jesse just bought some eggs for Loretta um, and they just hatched out. So congratulations and uh, good luck. Uh, so Save says, example, my shire recommends dispatching quail at eight weeks. Does that, yep, absolutely. Uh, so it is the end of week eight. Absolutely. And, uh, and that's a great question. Uh, hi, Trudy and Richard. Uh, Tim Baldridge is in the house. Hey, Zach and everyone. Happy Sunday from Michigan. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. Uh, Veronica says, got my thumbs up in already too. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, Terry, Terry, Hagman, I hope I said that correctly. If I didn't, please correct me. Uh, hi from Norfolk, Virginia. Welcome, glad you're here. Blue Farm is in the house. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Um, Marshall is in the house. How, you, uh, how do you reduce smell of quail in a basement-like space? That's a very good question. Uh, I really like what um, Living Tradition Homestead does, Kevin and Sarah. Uh, they put pine bedding at the bottom, uh, kind of soaks in and uh, and eliminates a lot of the smell. Um, Verna might correct me because I might be wrong, but Verna actually does the same thing, but she actually puts... <clears throat> what does she put down? She just told me this last week. She also puts, I think, cardboard down underneath that uh, to help clean out the cages easier. Um, I could be wrong on what she uses. Feedbacks. It was feedbacks. Thanks, Katrina. I appreciate that. She does put feedbacks down uh, underneath, which helps a little bit. Um, any ventilation would be good. So if maybe you could have a, a small little fan, maybe blowing towards a window of some sort or ventilation to get it out, uh, that might help as well. But honestly, the best thing to do is keep them clean. Um, and the pine bedding really does help a lot, um, would be the best examples. But Verna actually, look for Verna's comment. I meant to say this as well. Um, so it's going to take me a while to get to all the comments, but a bunch of people on here, such as Verna, uh, is very knowledgeable, very experienced. She is an expert in my opinion. Um, and she will actually respond to you before I even get to the comments. So you can check that out. Uh, but Verna is going to have a lot more experience with that is uh, more than I. Um, so check out for her comments. Uh, Joanna M says the egg prices on the website. Is that for one egg, 18 or 25? No, uh, there's different, different quantities that you can purchase. Uh, so the minimum quantity is 25. Uh, so for example, you know, a, a, a 25 count gold would be $18. A 25 count pearl would be $25. And then you'll go to the drop down menu and, uh, and hit, you know, 50 count and then that'll change the price, whatever the case may be. Uh, but eggs are, per egg, it's between 60 cents and a dollar, uh, depending on which variety you choose. <clears throat> Good question. Um, I, I've been struggling with this, um, but I do want to do a video, like a web tutorial on our website to show you where the blogs are, to show you how to get to live quail, to show you how to find certain colors, um, and um, different resources and things like that. I just, I don't want it to come off as like a sales thing because it's really not. It's just a tutorial to help you because um, a lot of people don't don't find the live quail and I get a lot of phone calls. Uh, so I direct them to it and I say, you know, go here, go here, and there, there they are. Um, but it's a little, it can be a little bit confusing. So I think I'm going to do that video. Um, I just got to find out how to do it that it, it doesn't come off as, I mean, obviously, I want you to purchase quail from us, but it's kind of 
Anyways, um, but that's a good question. No, they are, uh, that's for a, a package. Uh, Mitch is in the house. Hello, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Stephen Ray is in the house from Florida. Welcome. Dan is in the house from Texas. Thumbs up. Thank you very much. I appreciate your support. Uh, again, Ed got bait. Not only is my moderator and a big help on our YouTube channel, he actually got the last video I did on um, quail math. He put together the links and the, the articles that I put in the video. Uh, he helps me quite a bit, sends me a lot of information to listen to and read, um, and he donates on here. So he is a huge help uh, to my Shire Farm. So thank you very much. I appreciate you. Uh, Nikki James says, hi, everybody from Missouri. Hope all have a blessed holiday Christmas. Welcome. Absolutely. Glad you're here. Uh, David Smith is in the house. Hello from Missouri. A lot of Missourians tonight. Is that what you're called? Missourians? I feel like that's what you should be called. Uh, Veronica says, I clean trays daily and have uh, a bath. There you go. Uh, Orlando says, hi, my Shire Farm. Are you selling live quail now to New York State? We are. Uh, we ship every week. Um, usually we ship every Tuesday, uh, without a hitch. Um, we've lost two quail in the past three months. Um, and that was because they were delayed in shipping two days, which really upset me. Um, but, uh, we took care of them and, 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 uh, refunded them and all that stuff because we do guarantee that all quail arrive happy and healthy. Um, and, uh, but other than that, I mean, we ship out literally hundreds a week. Um, so that's not too bad of a ratio. I mean, losing any is, is too many, but it's not too bad of a ratio. We ship every Tuesday, but we're actually shipping Monday, tomorrow, uh, because of Christmas week. So we'll only be shipping tomorrow. Uh, so if you order, um, well, if you order now or, or anytime this week, they'll go out the Tuesday after Christmas. Um, but yeah, we ship all year long. We just change our shipping methods, uh, depending on the season and they might be a little bit older. Uh, so that they can handle it. But uh, yeah, not a problem at all. Good question. Freedom Quail Farm donated $10. Thank you very much. I appreciate the support. Uh, that will go straight back into our channel. And uh, I've got some good things lined up as soon as I can make the money. Uh, I don't know if you saw the short, but uh, we, like I said, we're doing a Nurture Right 360 review. Um, and I'm excited to share that with you. Uh, there's some I'm going to be honest, you know, I bought it, so it's not like they sent it to me for free or anything like that. So I'm, I'm going to give you an honest review on it. Um, and then I just purchased a Hovabater and I just purchased a Little Giant. Now, here's a disclaimer. I am very biased against the Little Giants. I do not like them. A lot of my customers have a ton of issues, but I have never had experience with the Little Giants. So I did order one because I feel like they need a fair shake and I'm going to give it my best. Um, and uh, we'll see how that goes. But uh, for example, the donations from last week went towards those. I purchased those. Um, we are going to be buying a little bit better of a um, mic set so that you can hear me better in the barn and the noise cancellation. And we're gonna be doing a lot of gardening videos. Uh, so that money is going towards uh, the YouTube channel. So thank you very much. Um, did you see my question? I did not. Let me go back. I apologize. Um, I know I said this before, but while I'm looking, I don't, I still don't see their question. Still, I still don't, um, I don't. Joanna M, I did not see your question. I apologize and I still don't see it. Um, if you could re-ask, I will be, oh, Oh, the egg prices. I got it. Okay, I did answer. Um, sorry. Um, so I know I've said this, but I just want you to know, this is more of a community setting. Now, I know you have to look at my ugly mug, and I apologize about that, but uh, they all talk into the comments. Uh, it's a really nice setting. It's very um, educational. It's very fun. It's very informative. Um, and it's great to be around like-minded people. Um, so this goes for quite some time. I ramble on. Obviously, I apologize, uh, but obviously not enough to not do it. Um, <clears throat> but on Mondays at seven or at eight p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we don't do any of this. We go live, and you just ask your question, and I go. Uh, so you get your question within a couple of minutes, uh, just because I just. It's better for me than getting a million phone calls because I already get a lot, which is fine. That's okay. This is just a better outlet. So. Um, and I'm here if you need me. I have been 
contemplating on whether saying this or not, and uh, there was a misconception going around, and I just found out about it uh, about a week ago, and I didn't know about it, and I didn't know whether I was going to let it go or not, um, but I just, this is what I want to say about it. <clears throat> We guarantee a 50% hatch rate here at my Shire Farm. Um, as far as I know, we were the first ones to ever do it. Now, there's others that do that now. There's some that don't. Uh, there's some that do a fertility uh, guarantee. And it doesn't matter to me what people do. I don't care. Uh, we chose to do this. But it does not matter what the problems are. So I don't care if it's an incubator issue, if it's temp or humidity or lost in the mail or a shipping issue or delayed shipping, which La Rochelle Farm had bad shipping and delayed and they still got a 63% hatch rate. Um, I don't, it doesn't matter to me what the reason is. We guarantee a 50% hatch rate. And I just real quick, if you don't know, I decided to do this, which everyone told me not to do uh, years ago two years ago. And, um, you know, Papa the Builder and, uh, you know, he said, well, that's not good business. It's not your fault if they don't get a good hatch rate sometimes and you're going to be wasting money. And sure, that, that makes sense business-wise. But, um, you know, money's hard to come by, guys. <laughs> and so I really want to make sure that you get your money's worth. I, I really do. That's very, very important to me. Um, so I guess there was something said somewhere um, that, uh, we don't, and that is completely inaccurate. Uh, so I just want you to be aware of what we guarantee. So we guarantee a 50% hatch rate on shipped eggs, period. No, re no discussion. Um, now I will talk to you and try to find out the reason so it doesn't happen again, but I will reship you. Um, and then we guarantee all quail arrive happy and healthy, and I don't care what happens. I don't care if it goes through a shredder, which would be gross, or they are delayed for a week, or it's returned to cinder, or you put the wrong address. That's happened before. They put the wrong address and then they came back to us. It doesn't matter to me. Um, I want to make sure that you get your money worth. Am I going to lose money on the deal? Yes, I am. Um, but if you're successful, then you're probably going to buy again, right? So I feel like it'll, it'll work out. Monetarily and business-wise, it's a horrible decision. <laughs> but I feel like it's the right thing to do, and we here at My Shire Farm have tried to do the right thing for years now, and I think that's a big reason why we're successful, is because we don't put money first. Um, so anyways, that was, that was my rant, which happens. So if you're new, it happens more than I admit. Um... Sorry, hit send too soon. Bathroom vent fans in the ceiling piped outside. Uh, there you go. So yeah, absolutely. Uh, how long before the Caternix eggs will be available? Uh, we do have a lot of eggs and live coil available on the website. The Jumbo Whites, the Jumbo Egyptians, the Jumbo White Wings will all be on the website January 1st. The Jumbo Wilds will be back on the website January 7th um, because I had a disaster in the brooder this week, um, yesterday, well, sometime last night, and uh, so I have to recoup from that before I put them back on the website, or will always be on a wait. So, um, very disappointing. Very disappointing. And I found out just a few hours ago, um, so I'm still, still recovering from the massive shock. Uh, hasn't happened in a long time, and worst time to do it. Really upset about it. Uh, Joanne says, hi, I am thinking of diving into quail business. That is wonderful. We've got a playlist called Quail for Profit. That might help a lot. It has helped some people on here, such as La Rochelle Farm. Um, I am going, I already have a video. I have to rewatch it. Um, we've revamped our videos and I'm going to be honest. Um, they were quite annoying. <laughs> uh, you know, the first two minutes was just me trying to get you to support the channel and telling you what I was going to tell you instead of just getting into the material and this, that, and the other. Um, so I need to rewatch it. I'm hoping that it's sufficient enough, uh, but it's about uh, biosecurity and keeping your stock happy, healthy, and productive. Um, and at the time I did it, I remember thinking it's a great video. 
but I might have changed my mind. So I really have to watch that if I watch it and it's okay to, to, um, to post, then I'll probably post that tomorrow uh, just to get it out of the way because it's just been sitting in, in my phone for literally weeks. Uh, so I will try to post that and that should help. Um, there was something else I wanted to tell you. Uh, I don't remember, so I'll come back to it. Jasmine says, oh no, that sucks, Zach, about the brooder mishap losses. So sorry. Yeah, it was, it was disappointing. Disappointing. Uh, Shelly C says, have you used anything to bring down manure smell? Uh, sweet PDs, uh, what is helpful, harmful, and effective? Uh, well, we're kind of a different setup. You know, we've got the quail barn. We've got two major... Uh, industrial fans. We, you know, used a very high ceiling uh, to raise that up. Uh, we've got a huge door that goes into the shipping room, and then the shipping room has a huge garage door to let it flow through. Um, so, and we do poop literally every day, every day, 365 days a year. Um, so I'm going to direct that back towards uh, what Verna and Kevin and Sarah do at Living Traditions Homestead, uh, and Verna, which is my uh, main help here on YouTube and pretty much everywhere else. Um, but uh, the pine bedding on the trays really helps and Verna swears by putting the bags underneath it as well. It really helps as well. So check that out um, would be two ideas. Uh, but other people in the in the comments might have better ideas for you as well. Uh, my Midwest quail is in the house from Kansas. Welcome. Glad you're here. Carrie Cowherd says the goal setting video was amazing. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, I put a lot of effort into that one. Uh, Dale's Quail says, Good evening, everyone. Wisconsin here just listening in tonight, trying to get as many orders out as possible by Wednesday. Absolutely, I hear you. Um, PDZ works. There you go. Thank you very much for sharing. Joanne says, I've been enjoying all the Quail for Profit videos. Wonderful. Um, that was it. That was the other thing I wanted to tell you. I know I'm rambling on a lot tonight, and I apologize. I just feel like there's some good information. Um, so what I want to do is next Monday, we're actually going to skip the live Q&A and we're going to do a quail for profit. I'm going to come up with, um, some speaking points and uh, the first part of it is just going to be kind of a lack of a better word lecture, um, on some things. And then I'm going to take your personal questions because every area is different. Um, so it's really hard I really try to be very general in my vi videos because everywhere is a little bit different. So I try to just do balances and averages and things like that. Um, but I think that I might be able to help you a little bit more with your quail for profit and your business if we do a little one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, so I'm actually gonna be doing that next Monday, which I'll be announcing in a short this week. Um, so stay tuned for that. And if you're interested in it, I think that that might really help. Uh, and then at the end of the year, after I finalize my numbers, uh, we are going to do a uh, quail for profit budget. Um, and uh, I think that should be very helpful as well. So stay tuned for that. Uh, again, hit the like button, support our channel. I'm really trying to help you out as much as possible. And I would appreciate that. Uh, Tim says both videos this week were awesome. Keep all the Keep all this amazing information coming. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, here's a little fun fact. For about two years, year and a half, uh, I was doing YouTube videos really just to do YouTube videos. Um, I mean, the purpose was to help, but I was just trying to do them. Um, and recently, um, in the past three or four months, I'm not doing YouTube videos just to do YouTube videos. I really, it's, it's a different purpose. And I don't know if you notice that in the videos, um, but I'm doing them more, huh, m more nobly, I guess I could say, uh, more for a purpose. Um, cause I really think that these are helping a lot of people. I'm hearing the feedback that it's helping a lot of people. Uh, so we just have a different reason while we're, why we're doing these YouTube videos now. Uh, and I'm taking a lot of, um, time to prepare when before I would just turn on the camera and talk. Uh, but now I'm, I'm really spending some time to get everything in order. So, uh, hopefully you'll see that in better quality videos coming your way. Uh, so sorry for the mishap, Zach. Uh, heavy loss. Yeah, it was a big bummer. 
Uh, those were new breeders, and uh, man, they were they were getting their weight so well. I'm so mad, and they are supposed to be moved out of the brooder next week. Very disappointing, but you know what happens. Uh, Mark says, Merry Christmas. Hope you have a great new year. Welcome. Glad you're here. And thank you very much. I hope you as well. Uh, Jasmine says, I really appreciate the goals video. Uh, very impressed and helped change some of my process of thinking of making goals on the homestead. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. And I, I'm glad that it helps. Um, now, I do have to admit that I did not come up with any of those ideas. Um, I just did a lot of research and took a lot of smarter people's ideas and made them my own. Um, but uh, I'm glad that they help. And I think we have made them our own. Because um, it's just hard because you want to say, you know, what's good business goals? But, you know, selling t-shirts or selling candles is completely different than selling live animals. You know what I mean? So it's just, it's hard. So we had to kind of just combine a lot of stuff that we liked into our own. Uh, Dale's Quails donated $20 uh, to the YouTube channel. I really appreciate you. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas from our homestead, all of yours. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Um, Matthew is in the house. Hello all from Paw Paw, Michigan. Cool. I did not know there was a Paw Paw, Michigan, but welcome. I'm glad you're here. Uh, quite a few of Michiganites. I'm sure that's not what you're called. Uh, but there's quite a few of people from Michigan tonight. Welcome. PJ's Family Farm says, love the goals video. Thank you. Wonderful. I appreciate it. If anybody has any advice or any uh, criticism, I really don't take it personally. I really don't. Um, so um, if you have any advice that you can give me, I, I really... <laughs> When I get passionate about something, it's hell or high water. We're, we're going to make it work. Uh, and I really do have a passion for this upcoming year and the past couple of months to really give you very quality product um, in our YouTube videos. And uh, so any advice, any, any uh, recommendations, um, I would be happy to listen to. Um, Logan is in the house from Kentucky. Welcome. Glad you're here. Uh, Dan says, Merry Christmas, everyone, and please remember the reason for the season. Absolutely, I, I agree 100%. Uh, Verna says, Thumbs up, everyone. Absolutely. Support the channel by hitting the thumbs up. We here at MyShire Farm and the moderators, uh, we like to get 150. I've raised it. 150 likes by the end of the video, so support the channel by doing that and help us hit our goal. Um, and I don't know if I said it, but Merry Christmas to you as well, Dan. Uh, Liam said hi from New Mexico. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. Uh, pretty far away. I don't think I've ever been to New Mexico. Uh, Confused donated to 10. Let me start over. Confused donated $10 to the channel. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Uh, and again, it's going to go right back to the YouTube channel to give you better product and better quality. Fran is in the house. Howdy from Londonbury, Ohio. Welcome. Glad you're here. Uh, Jasmine says, Whiskey Tango Farm Celadons are Scarlet Range, Scarlet Tux, and Whites. Whites. Very interesting. Very cool. Um, feather Sex Bull Celadons. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, any suggestions on where to purchase organic game bird starter feed at a good cost point? No. Not at a good cost point. Um... Shoot, there was one company that someone told me. It was a big name, too. I want to say Purina, but you have to, like, search for it. Like, they don't really advertise it, but I... I don't remember. Maybe somebody will know in the comments. I can't remember. While we're waiting, Homestead says the goal video was great. When we get a chance to sit down together, we will be setting our yearly goals. There you go. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, thanks for the the uh, positivity. I like positivity. I really hate negativity. I can't stand it. Uh, my Midwest Quail says, since you use a lighted bulb for heat, uh, how do you think it affects the chicks with no darkness? Do you think it has helped with extra growth? Any negative effects? That's a very good question. Uh, no, we've actually tested this before, um, and there was no change at all, whether dark or light. Uh, but we're actually, uh, at the beginning of the year, once I get the jumbos out of the brooder room, which is going to be delayed a week now, um, well, it's going to be delayed three weeks, um, but we're actually going to do a video uh, and a time lapse, and uh, we're going to put some some 
quail in, two separate brooders. We're going to use one uh, with no light and heat. We're gonna use one the regular way we do it, and then we're going to weigh them. Now that is going to be an eight week project because uh, we won't weigh them until they're eight weeks old. Uh, and we will use some form of jumbo. Um, so we will be doing that video, but that is probably not gonna happen until the start of probably the third week of January. And then it'll be what? eight weeks plus the incubation pro so it'll probably be 11 weeks from then so we're still looking at march sometime before i can get that video out but i really don't want again i want to do videos on purpose so i really don't want to do a quick video and just say we're doing it um i really want to do the research on it so um but that that video will be in the queue uh when the best time to get quail in south Car uh, california um, anytime we ship year round, uh, we've got shipping down to a science. We use, uh, special foamers, amazing foamers. Um, they're the, they're amazing. Um, and they kind of, they're temperature controlled. So they'll keep the eggs warm, uh, during shipping. Uh, <clears throat> you know, we double box, we double pad, we do this, we do that. We take care of the eggs. They're laid same day as ship. So, uh, we're still averaging. Actually, we are averaging a 75.68% really want to hit 76 by the end of the year, but that's, it's going to be kind of hard to do, but, uh, I'd love to do it. Um, but we're still averaging over a 75% hatch rate on shipped eggs for the year. Um, and, uh, so anytime, anytime you're ready, we're ready. Uh, Garcia Shorts is in the house. Welcome. Glad you're here. Uh, JL Murphy is in the house. I'm a little behind. Love the quail math, but got all I needed with the first one. Excellent. Uh, and thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, Kathy says hello from West Michigan. Welcome. Glad you're here. Freedom Quail Farm says so far one little baby is hatched out of 56 from my Shire Jumbo Whites after ups UP, after the post office mishandling the shipment, praying we have a decent hatch rate. Uh, Freedom Quail Farm, if you're still on, hopefully you are, let me know what day you're on because it looks like you're in lockdown and I might be able to help. Uh, Tyler Dixon's in the house. Hello from Missouri. Another Missourian. I don't know if that's what's called. Uh, and looking forward to getting into 110 mixed eggs from you tomorrow. Excellent. Good luck. And uh, they will be going out tomorrow. I think that we texted back and forth today, maybe. Um, so good luck with that. And uh, you should have them by Wednesday. Um, Jeff Gray says, when the hen quits laying and rooster doesn't breed reliably anymore, are they still good for the dinner table? Are they too tough to eat or anything wrong with them? Nope, there's nothing wrong with them. Um, the two things that I can tell you just to be aware of is if it's a retired breeder, um, they're going to have a discoloration uh, by the vent, um, and that's it's pretty much just the ink for the eggs, and it's going to be real dark. It's the same. It's not a big deal. Um, that's just the egg laying stuff. Uh, so look for that, but you might do one and be like, oh my God, it's bruised. It's not. They're all like that uh, if they're retired breeders. And then the, they are a little bit tougher, but we still eat them and there's no issue. So um, we still eat them. I, yeah, do it. Um, everything has a purpose. Kevin says, hi everyone from Louisiana. Can't wait to candle in a few days to see how many of the, of the hundred are growing. We'll let you know. Wonderful. Good luck. And, uh, obviously keep us posted. Absolutely. Um, Cajun says, all set up for my quail startup, ordering jumbo white wings as soon as available, January 1st. Um, I'm actually caught up on those. Um, so I'm actually putting those in the jumbo mixes right now uh, for two days. And then the rest of the week are going into the incubator. Um, and I've got those are fine in the brooder. So I've got 300 in the brooder. Uh, and then we have, I think we have like 700 in the incubator. Uh, so we will be growing our um, quantity on those dramatically uh, in the next upcoming weeks. So I'm very excited about that. And hopefully they'll never be off the website again. That's the goal. Uh, Katrina says, hi everyone from Gilroy, California. I'm literally up on a rooftop right now. I'll be more active in a little bit. We'll be safe and welcome. Glad you're here. Uh, Justin says, hello from Michigan. Another in Michigan tonight. Welcome. Glad you're here. Uh, Nachman, I hope I said that correctly. Hello from Chicago. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. Um, 
Whiskey Tango Farms says, good evening, Zach and everyone. Chilly night in Wisconsin, listening and deep cleaning the cabinet incubator. I hear that. Uh, good luck, and I will see you tomorrow. If you missed the announcement, I'm going live tomorrow uh, at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here to do a very fast Q&A in case you just want questions answered and, and uh, you don't want all of this. But at 7.30 p.m., before I go live, I'll actually be live on Whiskey Tango Farms' YouTube channel for a very big announcement with Whiskey Tango Farms, myself, and... Uh, Chris Carnes from Slightly Redneck. So I'm very excited about that. So check that out. Uh, Tyler Dixon says, Southeast Boot Hill area. First time hatching. My six-year-old is very excited. Awesome. Oh, I'm losing comments. Hold on just a second. I'm so sorry. Uh, well, welcome and uh, congratulations. Uh, gee. Okay, here we go. What, what the quail farm says, we have a quail with a busted neck, but it's still lively. We call it. Okay, there you go. Uh, hi, Zach. Uh, all the very best to you and your family. Have an awesome Christmas. You as well. Welcome. I'm, I'm glad you're here. Sue B, Sue B, a.k.a. Farm Girl, love the name, uh, says hello from Branson, Missouri. I've been there quite a bit. Hope to have quail going in a month or two. Well, good luck. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, and uh, I wish you all the best. Uh, How is Madison doing? Thank you for asking. She's much better now. She had a some sort of bug, and uh, unfortunately, I got it now. Um... It's rough. Um, it's rough. But uh, yeah, I started not feeling great on Friday. Uh, and then yesterday I was off and on. And today it's I, what she got, I got. I can tell. So that is a bummer. But I am too busy to be sick. So I am ignoring it. Mind over matter. Uh, while we're waiting, Homestead says, hope Madison is feeling better. The high temp is scary for a parent's heart. Uh, yeah, it freaks me out. Jenna's very cool, calm, and collective, uh, but I am a basket case, so I'm glad she's with me. Uh, Jasmine Bass, Bass said, I decided to make a few ornaments out of blown out quail eggs for our door wreath. Uh, challenging task, it is, but they are really, really cool. Uh, we have a couple of those as well. Uh, if you haven't done that, you should try it. It's, it is a lot of fun. It's challenging but uh, worth it. Linda says, is it safe to ship eggs to Vermont this time of year? Yes, it is, absolutely. Um, we'll, we'll be here whenever you're ready, but yep, we still guarantee the 50% hatch rate. We're still averaging a 75 plus percent hatch rate. And uh, yeah, when you're ready, we're ready. We'll get you taken care of. Uh, Carrie says, my grandchildren love the quail. Glad that you're in it. Uh, glad that you're here, Tyler Dixon. Uh, there are a lot of Missourians in this group. Oh, they are called Missourians. Cool. I was just talking out of my butt. I didn't know that's what you were called. Um, yeah, absolutely. I love that kids love it. I, I think that's a huge, huge uh, benefit of Caternix Quail. Um, Claire is in the house from Kansas, another Kansas tonight. Welcome. Glad you're here. What the Quail Farm is not talking to me. Uh, John Hicks says, hello from Virginia. My quail are five weeks old tomorrow. That's great. You should be getting eggs this week or next. So good luck and uh, congratulations. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, Joe, nope, not talking to me. Linda is in the house. Uh, I made it. Welcome. Glad you're here. Um, I'm assuming Massachusetts. I'm assuming that's what it ma that means. I could be wrong. Tell me what that means. Nikki James says, does weather affect quail attitude? My birds have gone crazy this week and beating up each other all of a sudden. No, not really the weather. The only thing that I've seen that changes their attitude is um, a predator attack. Um, and not necessarily an actual attack, but... Um, getting close to it, they've seen something, and typically that's the only thing I've seen that that happens with. Um, it's hard to say. I mean, that's only happened once, so I mean, I wouldn't say that's normal. I don't, you know, it's only happened once, but that's the only thing I've noticed that changes their attitude. Uh, Joanne from Oregon is in the house. Uh, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Um, That is true. Weather, you know, rapid weather changes uh, could make him anxious, but not a lot. Not that, not going crazy, I wouldn't think. Eric and Norma uh, Hamacher, I hope I said that correctly. If I didn't, please correct me. Uh, I will not be offended. So glad to catch your live. New to Raising Quail on your channel has been a 
wealth of knowledge. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for showing up. I appreciate you. And uh, I love seeing a bunch of new names. That is wonderful to see. I'm glad that a lot of people are, are at least considering getting into it or starting out. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, Verna, if you will put my phone number, my email and the website on the, uh, in the comments, I, I don't think I've seen those. Um, but, uh, you can always reach out to me. I try to be available Sundays at seven for this and Mondays at eight. Uh, but you know, if that doesn't work for you or you're not comfortable, uh, commenting, uh, you can feel free to reach out to me anytime. Uh, it might take me a little bit of time cause there's only one of me, but I will get back with you as soon as I can. Um, Anything major besides calcium missing in 22% broiler feed when using for layers? I don't remember exactly, but I do think that it's the calcium and the fiber is super low in that. But I, I could be wrong. You might want to check that out. Uh, I've got a, a quail feed video uh, that you can kind of match up to that. I think it's the fiber as well. Um, Chad says, I'm at the restaurant and can't hear. I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. Well, Merry Christmas. Have fun. Uh, eat well. And uh, we'll see you next week. Uh, enjoy your dinner. Kathy says, I just got my incubator. When Jumbo Wilds are available, I'm going to start my first quail family. That is awesome. Congratulations. I'm sorry that it's now a week behind. Uh, but we will get you the best quality that we possibly can. And uh, so just be patient with me. Everyone that is being patient with me as far as that goes uh, and waiting on that, guys, I, I can't express to you how much I appreciate that. Uh, I really thank you for all of the support and uh, we'll get you the best we can. Um, hi all watching while peeling eggs. It's pickling time. Awesome. Congratulations. And uh, that is a lot of work as well. Um, Logan Graves is in the house. G3 Ranch in the house. Welcome. Glad you're here. Uh, I do have something else I wanted to say for a few minutes, but uh, I don't want to lose any more comments. So give me just a second. Uh, watching a Christmas movie and listening to Zach, LOL. I have a great wife that lets me do both. There you go. Uh, watch your Christmas movie and uh, good luck to you. Uh, they're making huge strides in their quail business as well. So congratulations to all of you. Flew the Coop Farms. Um, McLeod Family Farm is in the house just dropping in to give a thumbs up and say hi. We are all super sick over here, so I will catch the replay later. Have a good night, everyone. I hope you feel better. Have a great Christmas, and thanks for showing up and supporting. I really appreciate you. Uh, LaRoche Farm says, Zach, on the lower hatch, here's a reason why I think eggs were handling rough. I had 35 clears at lockdown. Wow, that's a lot. With only one early quitter. Fear, a fear assessment, or what are your thoughts? Yeah. Um, especially if you had a 63% hatch rate, then it wouldn't be the temperature, which could be it. Uh, the air cells were definitely, uh, detached. Um, and you just don't know. Uh, so yeah, that, that was a pretty shaken box. Absolutely. Which is still pretty impressive that you still got a 63% hatch rate. So you got incubating down to an art. Congratulations. Uh, Linda says, we are going to clean the cage, taking the five females out first. Then after two hours, we will put the male back in, in the clean cage with them. He is still tiny. Okay, uh, that was a message that I got earlier today, I do believe. Um, yeah, so uh, do that and keep me posted. I want to know uh, how that goes. I got a couple ideas um, that might be able to help you as well, uh, but uh, I think that would be the best first case scenario. Um Jasmine says, the family who bought a Jumbo Wild breeder set for me is really enjoying having quail. Uh, they send me an email updating me on their first eggs laid. Brought a big smile to my face. It really is. It's very rewarding to see other people succeed and they started with something that you had. Uh, it, it's amazing feeling. So uh, congratulations and uh, keep up the good work. Um, Uh, just so everybody knows, Verna said it's a feedback that she puts under the, um, poop tray and, uh, trimmed to size chips on top of it, exhaust fan in a window, in the window and clean once or twice a week. There you go. Awesome. And she keeps them in her house, uh, as well. Um, my Midwest Quail says pelletized lime will help with the smell also. Thanks for the 
uh, info. I appreciate that. I'm sure a lot of people will be able to use that beneficial um, or make that beneficial to them. Don Ray B is in the house from West Virginia. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. My family originated from West Virginia. I mean, I guess they didn't originate from West Virginia, but we were in West Virginia for a long time. Um, one side anyway. Uh, I'm, 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 I know you told me last week and I completely messed it up. I'm going to try to pronounce it again, but I'm going to destroy it. So I apologize in advance. Uh, I'm going to say Familia Kupke. I hope I, I didn't. I'm sorry. Uh, hello everyone. Evening. Welcome. I'm glad you're here, even though I can't say the, the YouTube handle, but I'm glad you're here. Thanks. Um, Mount Eden Homestead. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. Hey, Zach. Jasmine here from Australia. Awesome. I'm a newbie quailer. Uh, just hatched out my first chicks. 20 hatch from 24 eggs. Super excited. That is great. Congratulations. I'm glad you're getting started and a fantastic hatch, especially for a newbie. So uh, you are on it. So congratulations. If you have any questions, we would be more than uh, happy to help you. Uh, but good luck and you are well on your way. <clears throat> La Rochelle Farm says, knowing how much you love celadons is one of our goals, having them feather sex bulls. I am looking for a breeder that offers them. Absolutely. Um, what the Quail Farm says, Ed Got Bait is the man. He absolutely is. He's helped dramatically in our improvement on our YouTube channel. And uh, and he's just, he's a huge asset. I mean, he's, he's absolutely amazing. Uh, Freedom Quail Farm says, I finally got the courage to start out YouTube channel, even if it's just a few shorts so far, lol. The funniest thing is the most controversial video was the incubator with hatching eggs, lol. There you go, absolutely. Well, good luck, and um, why don't you, uh, mm, yeah, let's do that. Why don't you message me this week with your YouTube channel, and uh, I will check that out. Uh, Katrina is not talking to me. Um, Clara Anderson says, oh yeah, big supporter. I'm going to take it as you're a big supporter of mine, so thank you very much. I appreciate you. Um, you might not be talking about me at all. Joanna M. says, my husband grew up in um, Madra. We live in... Why do you live in so many hard places to pronounce for me? Uh, we live in Willamette Valley now. I hope I said that correctly. I probably didn't. Uh, so I apologize. Um, John Hicks says, sounds good. We'll get in two plus hours. Don't know what that means. You might not be talking to me. Um, uh, Joanna M says, we just have two, uh, two thirds of an acre. That's plenty to do a lot of stuff, including quail. Uh, so best of luck to you. Um, Kevin says, little giant is my least favorite also. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do it. I mean, I'll, I'll give it my all, but they got to impress me pretty well. Um, what the Quail Farm says, we have our own eggs going to lockdown today. This will be our first own non-bot eggs. That is very exciting. A huge accomplishment. Congratulations. And uh, best of luck to you. That's great. Congratulations. Don Ray B says, thank you for doing the goals video. I appreciated that so much. Well, thank you very much. I'm glad that it helped. Uh, Bill Bailey says, do you, do you sell parts for an incubator? I have an old Sears uh, incubator. It holds 20 dozen chicken eggs, but I need uh, but in need of some new parts. Um, we do have an Amazon store uh, that we did put some parts on that we use for our incubator that we built. Uh, so um, the timer, the hydrometer, the, um, the heat plate, the uh, humidity gauge, the I forget what it's called, humidicates, things like that. They're all on our YouTube channel. Uh, or, no, they're not. They're all on our Amazon store, um, which Verna can put in the comments, but our Amazon store is in the description of every video we do. And if you go to about on our YouTube channel, it'll have like our website link, our Amazon store, our merch store, which is stuff like this. Uh, check that out. And our Facebook page. Uh, so there is some stuff that we use on there. And then when I build the new Gigantor 3.0, uh, we'll be going over everything we, we use. 
how warm is your brooder room? My garage gets uh, down to low 40s, high 30s. I'm thinking two bulbs in case one burns out. Thoughts? Uh, I think that's a good idea. Uh, ours get to about 65 to 70 this time of year. Um, and uh, we only have one bulb, but I, I think that that's a good call to do two just in case one blows. Um, I think that's great. Good job. Uh, Logan says, when do you all do the giveaway? First Sunday of the month or last? It's the first Sunday of every month we do the giveaway. Uh, good question. And that's for the 18 and under contest, which is, yeah, I'm caught up enough now, uh, which is the other thing I want to talk about. I just want to do, do a huge shout, shout out to Zeke. Um, he was our November 18 and under contest winner. We did a video uh, slideshow. Jasmine Bass put it together for us. And uh, we did his progress of hatching out and putting the Wynola Ranch cage together and the Dales Quail Brooder and the Whiskey Tango Farms supplies and all that stuff. And um, he is the first one out of the past two years of winners to send a thank you card, literally send a card to all of the um, people that do it. So he sent one to Whiskey Tango Farms. He sent one to Wynola Ranch. And uh, Wynola Ranch texted me, uh, I think it was Friday night, and um, said, you'll never believe this. And I said, oh gosh, what? And he said, look at this. And then he screen or he, sh he took a picture of the card that they sent. And uh, he said that it was very touching and that it was the first card that they ever got to say thank you for doing the contest. And um, so the parents of Zeke uh, Jasmine Bass is Zeke's sister. Uh, you guys are, are raising a fantastic young man, and uh, that really means a lot to me uh, that you that you reached out to all of them and said thank you. I did not get one, but that is okay. Um, I know that he has said thank you before, and Jasmine has expressed that to me as well, and uh, I know he's super excited, but um, but that, that does mean a whole lot uh, that he did that, so, uh, so good, good for him. Good for him. Uh, I agree the goals video was awesome and we made our own goals, including some pretty creative ones. That is awesome, congratulations. I'm glad the video could help and uh, that's great. Good luck. Uh, Ronnie Britt is in the house. How do you breed specifically for celadon eggs? You know, I don't really wanna go into that uh, just because I don't have them the way I want them. So I'm not gonna say that I'm very good at it yet. Um, there's a lot of stuff I know that you shouldn't do. We've experienced that. Uh, but uh, whenever I get it exactly the way I want it, holy cow, am I going to have a great video for you. Uh, but I got to get there first. So I really don't want to speak on that. Um, you can reach out to Whiskey Tango Farms. Uh, Kristen and Brandon, they sell celadons. They stand behind their celadons and stand behind their product. They would be able to give you some better information uh, because I am not having a lot of luck um, with what I'm wanting to do with it. Um, Don B says, I already, I already somewhat set goals that way, but not so detailed. I'm working on details. I'm glad. Thank you very much for watching the video. Um, and uh, good luck to you. Debbie's Joy in Gardening says hello from Wisconsin. A lot of Wisconsinites tonight. Again, I don't know if that's what you called, but I'm going to make it up. Uh, so excited for my order. Well, good luck. Uh, best of luck to you. I'm trying to get as many orders out as quickly as possible. But just so you know, Number one, thank you for your patience on waiting for the eggs to be available. Thank you for all of you that have purchased, that are waiting on my eggs. Uh, we got slammed and I was not prepared, but we are getting eggs out every day as quickly as possible. They are laid same day and we will make sure you are well taken care of. So good luck to you and obviously keep me posted. Um, Orlando says, how much money per quail? I don't know what you mean. How much money per quail? Um, it costs a dollar to raise a quail, but I don't know if that's what you mean. Hopefully that's what you meant. Uh, Egg Got Bait says, I have a little giant. They will work, but it's a pain in the butt. Plus you have to buy the quail rail separately. Uh, the temp and humidity gauges lie like a dog. Don't trust at all. I've heard that a lot. Uh, Fran Crow says, Zach, that is exactly good customer service. Keep up the good work. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, Linda says, I'm trying to save up for one of those nice cages your dad showed being put together. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming you're talking about the Myshire cage from Wynola Ranch. Uh, it is awesome. I love that cage. <clears throat> uh, I stand behind that cage. It's fantastic. Um, 
Verna says they do lie really badly. The, the, uh, what's it called? The little giant, uh, but not as bad as the farm innovations. Uh, that's one that I'm actually wanting to purchase as well. Uh, I just need, um, to get some more money for it. Uh, but I'm going to try one of those as well because that is a popular one people look at. Uh, but I don't have a lot of expectations for that one as well. Uh, well, what the quail farm says question, what egg turners do you use for your frigibator? Are they plug and play or do they need to plug into a controller? They need to be plugged into a controller. Um, I don't remember the details on it right now. Uh, a plug and play would work. Um, that's above good customer service. Well, thank you very much. I think at this point in time, I was talking about the 50% hatch rate guarantee. Um, you're shipping. Uh, I'll have to look at that text later. Um, what, egg, no, what was the question? Oh, above good customer service. I was talking about the 50% guarantee and why we do it. Uh, so there was just a misconception about people saying that we only guarantee a fertility rate, which is not accurate, or we don't always uh, refund or replace. That's not accurate as well. Um, so I just wanted to sh set that record straight. Um, that was annoying to me. And I was considering not to say anything, but I also don't want you to have misinformation as, as well. Uh, Dottie is in the house. I have a customer that wants his balute big. He has a hard time with English. I think he wants his balute mature. What is the latest date he can develop the balute? The latest date that I am comfortable ever that have done it is day 14. Um, I do have a customer that always begs to do day 15 and I am just not willing to do it. Uh, so day 14 is the longest I'll go. Um, but day 12 is usually the normal, but you, you will get a customer like that. Just do day 14. And, uh, I would just let them know that's the biggest they get. Um, I mean, they're not going to get too much bigger and when they do, they're going to hatch out. So day 14 would be my recommendation. Uh, Danny Redden is in the house. Hello from Nova Scotia, Canada. Welcome. That's super cool. Welcome. Glad you're here. I think you're the first Canadian tonight. Do you ship hatching eggs to Canada looking for jumbos? I do not at this time. There's a lot of red tape with the COVID thing. We used to be approved um, and had a process down. We were able to do it before uh, COVID hit. Everything got um, unapproved and now it is just hardly impossible to do it right. Uh, so I'm waiting on everybody to, to uh, approve it, but uh, hopefully one day again, uh, but not right now. Uh, Stony Bulldog is in the house. When can I get some Jumbo Wilds here in Texas? Uh, the Jumbo Wilds will be back on the website January 7th. I apologize for the delay. Um, they were supposed to be January 1st, but I had a huge mishap, so I apologize, but I got to make sure that I put some in for us because um, that's good business. So uh, January 7th, is when they'll be back in. Now, when I do put them in, we will have, I just added, I just added 400 jumbo breeders to the program. I've got 200 in the grow out cage and I still have 400 in the brooder that are happy, healthy, and alive and growing. Um, so hopefully January 7th, um, I won't have to take them off again. See, that's a lot of birds. I hope I don't. Um, Christmas in a snowstorm, um, that would be a bummer. I hope it's not a snowstorm for you. Um, Logan Graves says, my, so my quail are laying after I go to bed and the temperatures are about 40 to 30 degrees. Will that hurt the fertility rate? It, it can a little bit, but I wouldn't overstress it. They should be fine. Um, if they lay while you're sleeping, just before you go to work or when you wake up, you know, start making your coffee, go out there and just collect them real quick and uh, you should be fine. I mean, if it affects the fertility rate, it's not gonna be by a lot. Maybe we'll say 12 hours. 12 hours in that cold, no more than, the highest it would affect the fertility would be 10%. I would feel comfortable saying a 5% low fertility, uh, but if you got the five to one ratio, uh, then, I mean, you're still golden. You're still going to get 75, 85, 95% hatch rate. Uh, so yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't stress about that. That's a good question though. Very good question. And I'm glad you figured out when they were laying. So that's great. Nikki James says, I have a little giant. Also, my biggest issue is, uh, that even with vents open, when you have a big hatch, the humidity spikes horrible and drowns the babies, almost lost everything. 
I do hear that a lot, but we'll be testing it out. Um, uh, Joanna says, I used to garden. Uh, we will be doing a lot of gardening videos this year. I'm very excited about it. While we're waiting, Homestead says, customer service is more important. Good customer service will set you apart from others and will help you help you, your customers coming back. Absolutely. I agree hundred percent. Zach says you help everyone who comes to you uh, for help. Doesn't matter if you've never heard from them in your life. And that's awesome. Passion uh, for getting people to be successful, refreshing to see. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Actually, I did the video. I think I said it in the video of the quail math. And I said, look, you don't have to purchase eggs for me, for me to help you feel free to reach out. Um, if you are incubating and you are on day we're going to say day 17, and you're still not getting a big hatch rate, I highly, highly recommend reach out to me. Don't wait for a live. Reach out to me. I can save the hatch. I can help you. But if you wait until day 18, 19, 20, um, we can probably get some, but I, I can't save all of them. Uh, so for the 133 people listening to me right now, my phone number is 937-760-7282. Don't email me with this. I mean, you can email me, but with this information, I only check my emails once a day. I mean, I'm always going. I don't get emails on my phone because of how we got it set up. I can only do them on the computer, and I'm only on the computer once a day. Um, so uh, if you're not in a hurry, you can email me. That's not a problem. I'll get back with you. Uh, but that is more of a critical issue. Uh, so please text or call um, and blow up my phone if you have to. Uh, but I can save your hatch or or most likely save your hatch if you're on day 17 and you're still not getting some to hatch. You want to see some pipping and some, some small hatches on day 16. 17 is a huge hatch day. Day 18 and 19 is f finishing up. Um, so just keep that in mind. And you don't have to purchase from me. I don't care. Uh, oh, that was my point. I rambled again. I apologize. But I did the the last video, Quail Math, and I said in that video, if you haven't purchased from me, you can still reach out to me. I had 18 texts um, and 12 phone calls between me posting that video and about 30 minutes before I went live. Um, so... Uh, yeah, I just, I hate that people didn't know that before. Um, so there you go. Hello and good ble God bless. Danny here from Ohio. Thanks for all your hard work. Appreciate you. I ordered Jumbo Wild Hatching Eggs on December 9. Do you know approximately when those would go out? Very good question. Usually about two to three weeks. Um, but if you want to text, oh, I'm losing comments. Holy crap. Um, but I'm losing, um, hold on. Hey, Zach, our Jumbo Whites just hatched. We bought 50, 47 were fertile, 42 hatched. I lost the rest of the comment. Thank you very much. I will write that down. 42 out of 50 white. I'm so sorry if I lose your comment. It is not on purpose. I apologize. I am just way too far behind. Um, if I make some Jumbo White Wings, how much weight will I lose over per bird? Uh, you can build that back up, but you'll probably lose about, a, about an ounce and a half. Uh, but you can build that up real quick. Um, so... It's not a bad idea. Uh, and again, if I lost your comment and I've passed it, I don't see it anymore. Uh, I'm too far behind, so I apologize. Uh, I've been cold in Wisconsin this week, ready to head home to Florida's warmth. Absolutely. Uh, Dr. Connie, I will see you Tuesday. Um, MPIP call called me today. It is going to be a uh, stay in your car, we'll bring it to you kind of thing, uh, but you will be able to pick up your stuff heading back to Florida. Uh, so I'm glad that you're here, so I can tell you that. Um, uh, Katrina says, I believe Zach sells jumbo white wings and they are still jumbos. I do. I think he's wanting to create his own, uh, which is perfectly fine. Um, and, uh, yeah, you will lose probably an ounce to an ounce and a half while doing the project, but I mean, it'll take less than two generations. To um, Kevin says, hello, I'm going to build my own. And the Turners are the only thing I'm not sure how to do yet. Hoping they can make a video just on that because nobody talks about the Turners when building. Absolutely, we will be doing that in the video and uh, giving very precise detail and showing you all the stuff that we buy to do that. So stay tuned. Uh, Familia says, quail smell can be eliminated with Irish Spring helps bring it down a bit. That's another good tip. Thank you. What incubator do you recommend? Have a little giant and am not impressed with it. Um, 
So on our Amazon store, there's a customer recommendations. There's three different incubators on there you can check out. Uh, check out the reviews, but a lot of our customers have recommended those, um, and uh, that should help you quite a bit. Uh, Dottie says, thank you so much. Not a problem. I don't know if you're talking to me, but you're welcome. Pastime84 is in the house. Welcome. Glad you're here. Uh, the Quail for Profit videos have really kickstarted my business. That's awesome to hear. Congratulations. Uh, Deborah says, should I incubate a 17.7 gram quail egg? Absolutely. You really, I mean, you could, but normally you don't really get a lot of double yokers until 21. So yeah, do it. Absolutely. Um, Growing Augusta Arts, Agriculture, and Agency. Hello from Georgia. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. Welcome. Uh, Sammy Poison in the house says, hello, welcome. Um, La Rochelle Farm says, just an update, FYI, I made my first delivery to the Asian store on Friday, and before I left, they asked me when I would come back again. I feel well short of the order. I felt well short of the order, but they didn't seem to mind. Hey, you're doing great. Keep up the great work. That's exactly what you should be doing. Uh, you should be very excited and very proud. I'm very happy for you. Uh, really, I am. Jennifer says, hello, all. I love my babies and my adults, but... but almost six weeks old, are brainless. They're not the smartest thing in the world, but they're pretty cute and pretty productive. So uh, you got to take what you can get, uh, but I agree. Freedom Quail Farm says, Jasmine Bassier says, oh, not talking to me. Trudy says, you get 50% of what you order. You send extra, so you get at least 50%. Thank you. Uh, not a problem. Best of luck to you. And uh, absolutely. What the Quail Farm says, congrats on the order to La Rochelle Farm. Absolutely. Um, Verna says, you have been doing a lot better on your videos, Zach. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, Freedom Quail Farm says, Zach, the videos definitely help. Otherwise, we would not have had the push start uh, our own little quail adventure. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that, and best of luck to you. Uh, Sammy says, thank you for taking the time uh, in making... I lost it. Oh, in making the videos. I, it, I didn't see it. I'm sorry. Uh, Sammy says, thank you for taking the time in making the videos. Well, not a problem. Thank you for watching, and I'm happy to do it. I really have a passion to do it. Um, what the Quail Farm says, quail candles. Um, maybe you're not talking to me. Uh, we've never done a quail candle, no. Um, Marilyn Perry says, Merry Christmas, everyone. Glad for this channel and all the help and ideas that come from it. We are building our equipment to get started on our quail journey next year. That is awesome. Best of luck to you. Uh, good luck. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, how far am I behind? Okay, real quick. Somebody asked me about their order. Um, yeah, if you have a question about when your order goes out, I will get them out as soon as possible. But I have no problem you texting me. 937-760-7282. I will be able to give you a much better uh, time frame. Uh, it's been 10 days. I say two to three weeks uh, because of Christmas. I would say beginning of next week if I had a guess, uh, but you are on the ship list. I have it all organized. So if you want to text me this week uh, your name uh, and what you ordered, I can definitely look for you and get a better time frame for you. Sorry it took so long. I just had to get some uh, questions out of the way. Um, did I read that? Yes, I did. Carrie Coward says, I could I could really tell the difference with the goals video. It was obvious that you put a lot of time and effort to communicating to communicate goal setting, and it resonated with me. I'm still mauling over my thoughts. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that, and uh, thank you that you see the effort. I appreciate that. Uh, Danny says, hello from Nova Scotia, uh, Canada. Do you ship eggs to Canada? I do not at this time. We are working on it, uh, but it's still going to be so far, or it's still going to be some time. Uh, Freedom Quail Farm says two hatch so far. Uh, what um, Freedom Quail Farm? What day are you on? I really need to know that. Shelley says maybe sensitive topic. New to quail for dogs. When folks say they call and use for dog food, how do you process it? My dog is trained not to eat a whole feathered bird. Um, that's a good question. We actually have a video uh, about how to call quail for that purpose. I would definitely check that out. Uh, it's been a big hit for us lately. Um, so check that video out. Verna, if you'll put that link in the comments if you have it. If you don't, that's not a big deal. Um, but um, from the people, well, our our dogs, and from the people I sell to, um, they just give it to them complete. Um, but uh, I do have one customer that actually skins them um, and does it that way. That might be an option, but... For the most part, everybody does just, they call it, they freeze it, thaw it, and then give it to the bird. Um, so, 
Sorry, that's all the information I got. It's a good question. I just don't have a good answer. Uh, Vernon says, 131 people watching, only 89 likes. We got 122, so I lost some people, but we got 142 likes. I need eight more to hit the goal. Help us hit that goal. Hit the like button, support the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Dottie, I don't know why my, that's in my hands. Um, whew, my throat. Dottie says, delivered five dozen eggs to my first Asian customer on Friday. They were so excited to find a source for quail eggs in Mississippi. That is awesome. Congratulations. And uh, your first order being five dozen. That's a lot. Congratulations. That's awesome. You're doing great. Uh, what the Quail Farm says, number 47 like. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, Jeff says, hit the thumbs up button, people. Absolutely. I'd appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, Katrina actually had a huge success this week as well with selling her eggs. Uh, she sells them at volleyball and uh, was giving out scissors and uh, and seemed to generate a lot more traffic that way. So um, that is a thought for everybody uh, that Katrina was doing. Um, so if you get some scissors, uh, they're fairly cheap. So you can get the scissors, hand them out to the first couple of customers and get the buzz going. And then... Uh, that might help. So uh, I saw that in a post from Katrina, and uh, I was very impressed with her in her creativity. That's not the and no. Nope. I'm gonna say creativity. I was thinking of another word, but I can't think of it. I'm not gonna spend time thinking about it. Um, Bill says I'm building cages for my jumbos. What is the minimum height for the cage? Eight inches, ten or twelve? Um, it's really whatever. I wouldn't go past 12 uh, hours. I like 10, to be honest. I like 10. If you're building them, I like 10. Uh, 8 would work. Um, 12 is okay, but I like 10 is my personal preference. Uh, from southeastern Ohio, David Pennington is in the house, a wannabe quail farmer. Well, you're here. Ask your questions, let us help you, and good luck. And uh, you've got an entire community, 122 people right now, uh, that are more than welcome, are more than willing to encourage you, educate you, enthuse you, and help you in any which way possible. So good luck to you, and I'm glad you're here. Katrina says, all my customers of volleyball yesterday got, oh, she's already telling the story. I, all my customers of volleyball yesterday got quail egg scissors for Christmas, plus we got to play for four hours instead of our regular three hours and I sold almost double the eggs, no volleyball next week. That is awesome, congratulations, and best of luck to you um, to do even more. Uh, what the Quail Farm says, I love this community. Everyone is all, always so helpful. I agree. <coughs> oh, mind over matter. I agree, and I love this community, and I'm so, so happy that we're building a community in the quail world. I think it's fantastic, and uh, how far am I behind? I'm a little bit behind. I want to do a shout out. I haven't done it for a while. Uh, Verna, first and foremost, is probably the most amazing individual I've ever met. She's just an amazing person, a wealth of knowledge, and always willing to help anybody. Um, and she's a huge help to me and Jenna. Uh, and we love and appreciate her very much. Ed got bait. I've, I've bragged on him quite a bit tonight, but I mean, he has just helped so much lately. Uh, he's a huge supporter, and uh, I really appreciate him. And then we've got our Facebook people that are really building a community. They're all on here. Whiskey Tango Farms, uh, Flew the Coop Farms, uh, they've been a huge help. Um, Jasmine Bass is killing it. Uh, Katrina is an admin on Newbie Quail Lovers, and she's very creative, great ideas, and uh, always willing to help. She's she's great building this community. Uh, PJ's Family Farm, S.O. Swanson uh, is doing great. I'm terrified that I'm forgetting a name. Uh, newbie is Katrina and Verna. Quail Call is S.O. Swanson and PJ's Family Farm. Um, nothing on the auction site. Um, Quail for Profit is Flew the Coop Farms and Whiskey Tango Farms. Um, Self-Sufficient Quail is Jasmine Bass, which is just phenomenal. I don't know if I mentioned her name, but my God, she is, she's a rock star. Absolute rock star. Um, what other Facebook group? I feel like I'm missing one. Oh, Quail in the Kitchen, Brooke. Uh, she has been doing a fantastic job. She's very active. She's got a YouTube channel you want to check out. So does Katrina and uh, 
Yeah, I mean, they're just, they're really helping lead this charge of making community, and I really appreciate all of them. If I happen to forget a name, I am so sorry. I'm just trying to go super fast, and now I'm behind on comments. Amanda's in the house from Texas. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. Um, Charles is in the house from Ohio. A lot of Ohioans tonight. Welcome, everybody. Uh, Pastime84 is in the house from Texas. Welcome. Jeff says, looking forward to the egg quail math. Uh, that'll hopefully be coming this week. It's Christmas, so it might be next. Plus, we're doing a special video this week, uh, but I'm, I'm going to try to do it. Uh, I just got to get all my numbers from past and present and uh, match them up and give you the best video I possibly can. So stay tuned. Um, I lost my spot. Uh, also, uh, I'm a little, so Brooke is Cali Quail Farm. I hope, I think that's the name. Cali Quail Farm. I think that's the name. I think that's everybody. Oh, I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have done it. I feel like I forgot somebody. Vern is in the house from Ohio. Welcome. Uh, Michael Lee says, how much did the barn cost with the new water system? Did you build it yourself? Uh, Papa the Builder did engineer it himself. And... Um, I think for the water system, I'm assuming you're talking about the poop system, the drainage system. If you're talking about that, I think it was, we got everything for great deals. Um, it wasn't a ton, it was a couple thousand to do everything. That was the tanks and the motors and the everything, but I can't, I don't, I don't remember. Uh, Charles is in the house from Ashland. Welcome. Glad you're here. Uh, Nick is in the house. Hello from Indiana. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. How long does it take to ship out jumbo eggs? Um, it takes about two to three, two to three weeks right now. Uh, I'm almost caught up on all the jumbo mixes. I'm almost caught up on all the jumbo Egyptians. I'm getting close to the jumbo whites. Those will all be caught up, um, at the latest, the beginning of next week, because it's Christmas this week. The Jumbo Wilds are two to three weeks out, uh, but I am working on that. I did just add a bunch of new breeders, so that will help a lot to get orders caught up. Um, and of course, Christmas shipping uh, is gonna be delayed a little bit, but that gives me time to put more eggs in, so take the good with the bad. Uh, but if you have a question about your order, you're more than welcome to text me this week, and I can give you a better time frame on your individual order. I'm going to say it wrong again. I Eventually correct me. I apologize. Familia uh, says we are out of Idaho. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. Harlan Cooper's in the house. Says hello, everyone. Welcome. John Hicks says need a shirt that says ask about my quail math. There you go. That's not a bad idea. That's actually in my queue. Uh, one of my ideas for later on. Uh, the Daily Quail says happy holidays from Freeland, Maryland. The pearls are five weeks old now and absolutely beautiful. What are your thoughts on California Valley quail? Uh, I do love the pearls. Uh, I've never had California Valley quail. I really like quail that are um, for a purpose, and they're the California Valley quail are nice, and they're more ornamental, so they're not for me, but I'm not saying they're not for everybody. Um, they're nice. They're nice. I just, I, ha I don't have them, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, Cali Quail Keepers, that's their name. That's Brooke. Cali Quail Keepers. I knew it wasn't farm. Uh, hey, all. Hope you're all celebrating the Christmas festivities. Uh, welcome. I'm glad you're here, and I'm so sorry I'm, I didn't say your quail farm incorrect or correctly. Uh, but she does have a, a YouTube channel, so check that out. And she is an admin on the new quail recipe group, and she's doing a fantastic job. She's got a lot of great ideas, a lot of great recipes, and uh, so make sure you check her out as well. Bex and B says hi. I put 900 quail eggs in the incubator today. Awesome. Best of luck to you. Congratulations and uh, good luck. Frank Kimball's in the house, says, hello, everyone from Wisconsin. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. Um, what the Quail Farm says, 900, OMG. Absolutely. Freedom Quail Farm says, day 17, we spoke Friday. A lot had separated air cells. Oh, we did talk. Yes. Okay. I didn't know that was you. I apologize. Um, and you have already increased both. Okay. One is hatched. No. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, keep me posted, but I didn't realize that was you. I apologize. Uh, Shelly C says, dinners per week that include quail? Question. Dinners per week that include quail. I don't know what you, I don't know what you mean. Like ideas of, of quail recipes? Um, I would strongly suggest 
that's not my specialty. Um, but that is um, Brooks and Verna's. Verna's an admin for that group as well, plus an admin for Newbie, plus a moderator on here, plus she helps me every week, plus we have uh, conference calls all the time. Verna's a busy woman. Plus she helps out with other channels, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Verna's amazing. But uh, I would hi highly recommend you join the Facebook group, Quail in the Kitchen. Wow, my brain. Um, and they will give you a bunch of ideas, if that's your question. James is in the house. Uh, hey, all late arriving, blaming my cats. Don't blame the cats. I'm just joking. I'm glad you're here. Welcome, and thanks for your support. Uh, Chuck is in the house. Loved your math video. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Harlan's in the house. Merry Christmas from the Coopers in uh, De Pere. De Pere, Wisconsin, another Wisconsinite. Pretty sure that's not what you're called. Uh, but welcome, I'm glad you're here. Bex and B is in West Africa. 1,100 eggs in 10 days, that is awesome. Congratulations, best of luck to you. And uh, that is great, I'm glad you're here, that's super cool. We're international, guys. Freedom Quail Farm says we increased temp by 0.5. Community is good so far, excellent. Keep me posted. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know that that's... I, I just didn't put together that was you. I do think that I knew that was you. I just, it didn't register. Uh, okay, that's good. Joy is in the house from Western Oregon. Welcome, I'm glad you're here. Michelle Jackson is in the house. Good evening from Payson, Arizona. Welcome, I'm glad you're here. And Michelle, I'm. if you ordered eggs from us, because I have a Mich Michelle Jackson on the list, you actually go out tomorrow. Jen is doing the labels right now. So if you're waiting on an order from us, you might want to check your email after this because I see her spending money like crazy on shipping. Uh, so she's printing out all the labels for tomorrow. Um, uh, Callie Quail Keeper says, do you think that a hen will lay any faster if a root is fertilizing her as opposed to a hen only uh, colony? That's a great question. I've actually noticed, and I haven't done the proper research. So there's an asterisk to this. I have not done the right research. I That is on my list to do. But in my head, it seems as though that they actually lay better with males uh, than without. But again, I've not done the proper research. That's just my observation, and my observation could be off. Uh, so keep that in mind. But it seems as though that they do better with males, honestly. Um, whew, now I'm getting behind. All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna take a drink, and then I am gonna start going real fast for everybody. Hit the like button, support the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, and if you want to donate, you do not have to. The like button is free, but if you want to donate, uh, it will go right back into the quail or into the YouTube channel to, <clears throat> to help with videos. Whew. Shelly Perry says, Merry Christmas from Sweetwater Homestead, Statesville, North Carolina. Well, welcome. I'm glad you're here, and I love the name, Sweetwater Homestead. Uh, best of luck to you, and uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Uh, Cali Quail Keepers is not talking to me. Not talking to me. Um, Albert Diaz says, feel better soon. I really appreciate how much, I really appreciate how money is secondary to customer satisfaction. Merry Christmas to you, your family, and all your viewers. From Miami Beach, I love your hat. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And uh, I believe we talked earlier this week, um, and you got this hat, and you're telling everybody else to get this hat. Uh, so I'm, I'm liking your trend. I'm liking that you're starting something. Uh, so good luck to you. And, uh, <coughs> <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah. I'm not feeling too good. Uh, Madison, my youngest daughter, gave me a bug. But uh, I don't do well when I get sick. I become a big baby. And my wife hates it. And I've just got too much to do this week that I can't afford to be late. Uh, or to be sick. So uh, I'm just going to ignore it until it goes away. And it might not be the best idea, but uh, it's going to happen. So I'm just going to will myself to just ignore it. <clears throat> it's going to be rough. But Jenna will help me stay in check. Uh, Mikor Acres Rick is in the house. Good evening, Zach and gang. Late again, not a problem. Thanks for showing up and uh, thanks for your support. I really appreciate you. Oh my God, we're at 170 likes. Thank you, everybody. I really appreciate you all. Uh, S. McKee is in the house. Also forgot you were on today. Glad I caught your live. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, thanks for showing up and that I'm okay. We don't, like Chris from Slightly Redneck says, we don't take attendance, but um, 
If you would like to be reminded, I do lives in advance, and if you go to our YouTube channel, it'll say Upcoming Lives. You can click on that and get a reminder on your phone, um, like 30 minutes before I go live or something like that, if that helps. You don't have to. That's You can show up whenever you want. I just am glad you're here. Uh, so, But that was just... I didn't know that a long time ago, so that's something new I learned recently. Uh, Tim says, have you used a propagation heating pad for brooding? No, we have not. I have some customers that have. They like them. Um, we are going to be purchasing them. Uh, we, we're going to be purchasing one and trying it out, uh, but I don't have any experience with that yet. Uh, so we'll be testing that theory. PJ's Family Farm says, I put my jumbo... Nope, I put my first jumbo eggs in the incubator on Thursday. I'm so excited for this hatch, about as excited when I hatched your jumbos. It is always a huge success when you're hatching your own eggs, so I'm very, very excited for you. Congratulations, that's a huge start and a huge step, and uh, best of luck to you, and let me know how it goes. I know it's not my eggs anymore, uh, but uh, I'd love to know your progress, so good luck. <clears throat> FYI, Jumbo Wilds from you laying 20 gram eggs. Uh, they're getting pretty big. That's a little above average, but they are getting pretty big. Uh, Jeff Martin says, I got a hubbubator and govies this week and cut lumber for brooder and cages just waiting for the wire to show up. That is awesome. You are well on your way. I love the govies. I love the hubbubator. Um, and uh, I love that you're building the cage. And uh, yeah, we just built, well, I can't tell you that yet. There's a video coming this week about wire, so stay tuned. Um, okay, I'll just tell you real quick. Do I have time? No, I don't. I'll tell you in a couple minutes when I get caught up so I don't lose any comments. Shelly says, Shelly C says, good vibe. Uh, Craver Quail wishes everyone peace outside and inside you. Find beauty in your world and please have the strength to build, protect, and expand your wings. That's lovely to say. Uh, welcome, and I'm glad you're here. I know you've been here for a while. Um, I don't know if you're talking to me, but Joy says, how close are you to me? I don't know where you're at, but I'm in Miamisburg, Ohio, if that helps. I don't know if you're talking to me. Um, <clears throat> Danny says, hi, Zach. Watch your videos constantly. Good, very good information. Yep, I'm going to have to. I'm struggling. Uh, Danny says, hi, Zach. Watch your videos constantly. Uh, very good information. Nova Scotia, Canada. Well, welcome. Thank you for showing up, and thanks for watching the videos. I really appreciate you, and I'm glad they help. <coughs> Oh boy. Um, I bought the Gobi thermometer to watch from my phone. Awesome. Uh, best of luck to you, and I really do love them. Uh, Samantha says, hey, how many female to male would you say is good for breeding? Uh, I recommend five to one. So five hens to one male. Uh, that will keep you having a high fertility rate, but your hens looking good throughout the entire time. So, um, so yeah, that's what I recommend. Um, Samantha, Samantha Vander Vlut, I said that wrong, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, uh, says, how and how many grown quail to a square foot do you do? Uh, we recommend three quail per square foot and five hens to one male. Those are very good questions. I'm glad you asked. I'm sure, I'm sure other people needed to know that as well. Uh, so thanks for being here. I appreciate you showing up. Um, <clears throat> Kelly Connect is in the house. Better late than never. Screwed up the time zone difference today. Ha ha. Oops. Um, did you already mention the announcement we're doing tomorrow via Whiskey Tango Farm, Slightly Redneck, and My Shire tomorrow? Yes, I did. Uh, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be live on Whiskey Tango Farm's YouTube channel. Check that out. And then I will be getting off, coming straight here on our YouTube channel, uh, My Shire Farm, and doing a fast, quick live Q&A. So, Tomorrow is a big day. Hopefully you can join me on both. Um, if you don't have any questions, then just don't, just uh, meet me at Whiskey Tango Farms at 7.30. But if you do have questions, meet me here at 8 as well. Uh, Familia says, both my husband and I went to culinary school uh, with our GI Bill. We might start a channel to do some recipes with quail eggs and meat as well. Anyone's thoughts on that? I think that's a great idea. Best of luck to you, and thank you for your service. Um... <clears throat> For that, pronouncing the name once again, 
uh, right again, LOL, for Zach pronouncing the name once again. Oh, I am saying it right. Familia. Okay. All right. I feel much more confident now. Thank you. Confident. Um, uh, Kelly Connect says, I love Ed Got Bait. Uh, such a nice guy. He really is. He's amazing. Um, Verna says, do I contact someone then? No, someone's talking. Oh, that, they're not talking to me. Um, Ed Got Bait says, my wife agrees with these. <laughs> uh, Harlan Cooper says, uh, Tamar, age seven, from Wisconsin. How do you tell Rosetta's apart? I'm a newbie. My sister Autumn says, said to say hi. Well, glad you're here. Welcome. Um, Autumn, hello. And then uh, Tamar, age seven, from Wisconsin. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're doing quail. And I don't know what you mean by how, to, how do you tell Rosetta's apart. I'm assuming you mean male from female. Um, you have to vent them, um, and that is between six to eight weeks old. We do have a video on our YouTube channel, which Verna, I'm sure, has already put in the comments. Uh, and if she hasn't, she'll do it now, I'm sure. Um, but we have a video on how to vent sex, um, and you can do that at six to eight weeks old. But if you have questions, uh, feel free to call me, and I will walk you through it. And again, my phone number is in the comments. It's also on the website. You know, it's pretty easy to find, but it's 937-760-7282. Um, and Verna, if you've got the link to the um, how to vent uh, your quail link video, uh, if you could put that in the comments for Tamar and Autumn and Harlan, uh, I'd appreciate it. If you don't have it, that's okay. Um, and... <clears throat> Right above your comment, Tamar, is my phone number so that you have it. Uh, Verna did put our Amazon link into the comments so you can check that out on what we recommend here at My Shire Farm um, and uh, what our customers recommend. Marlon Ruttenberg, I was saying that correctly, I'm so sorry. Marlon uh, hey, from North Carolina, butchered and ate my first quail this week. I'm officially self-sufficient for eggs and meat, eggs and meat, LOL. That is awesome. Congratulations. Uh, sorry, I wasn't pronouncing your name correctly for weeks. Um, and I know you've said that to me numerous times. I will try to remember this time. Uh, but that is great. That's a huge accomplishment. Uh, everybody give her a round of applause. So congratulations. Um, also, my husband understands German, so he has more German or Europe dishes that might be interesting, as well as using quail. That's very cool. Very cool. Very interesting. I think it's a great idea. Uh, Joan is in the house late from Southern Arizona. Messed up time again. That's all right. Uh, glad you're here. Thanks for showing up, and thanks for supporting. I really appreciate you. I haven't said it for a while, so hit the like button, support the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. S. McKee says, he's not talking to me. The Rochelle Farm says, sorry, that was a question earlier. Is one of your goals to have feather sexable celadons? Oh, that was a question. Sorry. Um, it is. We actually have uh, Jumbo Egyptians laying celadons. We also have one of our newest colors um, actually laying better, to be honest with you, already, um, which is just so disappointing. I mean, it's nice that we're making progress on something, but it's really annoying. Um, That's interesting. Um, anyways, we've been working on the Egyptian celadons for quite some time and very, going very slowly. And then our new Egyptian fees are laying like three times better celadons and they're brand new. So it's kind of frustrating. But yeah, I am working on it. I've got Egyptian fees. I've got a, the Egyptian fees are going to be way done before the jumbo Egyptians. Uh, but yeah, I, I will have some whenever I, I get them done. Uh, Papa's Backyard Garden says, just received my egg eggs. All is going well. Thank you, Phil. Awesome. Congratulations. Glad you're here. Thanks for showing up and supporting the channel. Good luck with the eggs and keep me posted and uh, best of luck to you. Uh, Toasted says, my quail refuse to live together. I've watched every video yours to and sprayed them all with uh, vinegar solution, uh, so they all smell the same. Uh, it's like they have clicks. 
suggestions, have good ratio. <clears throat> um, I can help you out, but probably not on the live. If you want to reach out to me this week, um, you can text me or email me. I will need to get some information from you. We will do some testing and um, we'll figure out the problem and fix it. Uh, so I've got some ideas, but I would need some more information and that's not really a, a live thing. <coughs> so if you want to reach out to me this week, I'll try to help you out. Um, toasted. That was toasted. Um, Gary Miller says, hi from North Carolina, Zach, Verna, Edgar Bate, and the rest of the Quail family and friends. I really enjoy listening in. Great info. Well, thank you very much for being here. Thanks for being part of the community and uh, thanks for supporting. I really appreciate you. Uh, Katrina says, that's awesome. Uh, thank you cards tend to be a thing of the past. Good to know some young ones are doing things right. Absolutely. I agree wholeheartedly. Daniel327, David says, got eggs hatching right now. Ordered 50 white and 50 white wing from you. So far, three have hatched. Looking forward to their hatching all night. That is awesome. Congratulations. Hopefully you're still on. And if you are Daniel327, David, what day are you on? Um, but good luck. Hopefully you're still here. Uh, Jasmine Bass says, that's awesome, Zach. Uh, Zeke wrote you one too. He called me and read them all to me. LOL, yours must be lost in the nail. He was very proud of what he wrote. Okay, I was just joking. I, I, I assumed one was in the, in the mail. <coughs> uh, so I was just joking. But uh, yeah, he, that, that's fantastic. I'm, I'm glad. It's not just the thought, but it's the, the time spent handwriting each one. Because there's Whiskey Tango Farms. There's... Um, Wynola Ranch, there's Dale's Quails, there's me. I mean, there's malt. It's, he took a lot of time to do that. So I'm very, very impressed with him. So let him know that I'm very impressed. Uh, Tim says, how about the heating pad brooder question? Uh, I have not done that. I have heard some things about it. It's only been from a few customers. Uh, they like it. It's been working for them. I need to order one and test that out. I'm not at that stage yet. I've got a lot of, um, I've got a lot of stuff going right now, so I haven't done it yet. That is on the list to try and to let you know what I recommend. I can tell you that I've not had any customers not recommend it, but I also haven't had a lot of customers that have done it either. Uh, so that's kind of a hard question for me to answer, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Um, Ashley Schultz is in the house, says, yes, Wisconsinites are correct. Eh, cool. That's two for two for me tonight. Uh, put my eggs in lockdown. Hopefully can tell you results next week. Well, best of luck to you. Keep me posted. And if you have any questions or you're past day 17 and they're struggling, please reach out um, and I will be happy to help. But best of luck to you. And I'm sure you're going to do great. And keep me posted. <clears throat> Daniel327, David says, thanks, using Little Giant with Egg Turner. Good luck, and please keep me posted. I wish you all the best. Joan says, my Shire Feather Sex Bowl chicks almost three weeks old, and our own eggs from my Shire Jumbos on lockdown, having such fun raising these cute little critters. Uh, my Shire Feather Sex Bowl chicks almost three weeks old, and our own eggs from my Shire Jumbos on lockdown. That is awesome. Congratulations. That is fantastic. I'm going to try to take these off for a little bit. Um, that is great. Congratulations. That's a huge uh, accomplishment and a huge way to go. Uh, so best of luck to you. And that is awesome. That is awesome. Pastime84 says, I just finished my first hatch in the farm innovation incubator and it worked, but the temp is badly off. Well, I'm glad you knew it and I'm glad you adjusted that and uh, and fixed it so good job um pastime uh, 84 says i had to have it at 106.5 good lord that is insane uh well i'm glad that i'm glad you knew how to do it that's great congratulations uh marilyn perry says got the govi you recommend need to be checked got the govi you recommended need to be checked and calibrated no uh, we did not, and I've had multiple, multiple customers, probably 30 or 40 in the past couple weeks, get them, put them in, and they have not calibrated at all, and you're off to the races, so you should be good to go. Uh, it's probably not a bad idea to calibrate it, but you don't need to. Um, they're amazing. I really enjoy them. 
Pastime84 says, put 36 in and hatched 27 so far. That is great. That is, that is wonderful, especially with 106.5 degree uh, incubator. That is fantastic. Congratulations. And that is perfect, perfect for um, being able to ma manipulate your incubator. And that proves the point. Everybody, what's the golden rule? That, uh, from now on, that's what we're going to call it. The golden rule in Caternix Quail is incubators. That's right. Incubators lie. Absolutely. Um, uh, Pastime 84 said, I got the Govi Zach re recommended. Awesome. Glad that it helped. Uh, Michael Burton's in the house. Uh, if you have to add water to an incubator during the lockdown to raise humidity at day 16, do you have to worry about the shrink wrap problem? That's a very good question. Uh, don't overthink it would be my suggestion. Um, so I recommend 75%. I like 70 to 75% humidity at lockdown. <clears throat> Real quick, the reason why you want such a high humidity at lockdown is because you have to soften the egg so that they can break through. If they use all their energy to break through, they're gonna be weak, it's gonna be a problem, um, and uh, so that's why you wanna increase the humidity. Usually you don't have a shrink wrap issue or too much of a high humidity issue until about 85%, and now you're starting to get into the, the danger zone. Now, I recommend that you take eggs out of the incubator every 24 hours. Um, so what you're going to want to do is a good process. So you've got your incubator, get a little box, open the incubator, take the chicks out as quickly as possible, put them in the box, and then close up the incubator, and then move those chicks to the brooder. So you want to do it fast so you don't... Uh, long story short, I, I wanted to explain all that, but long story short, uh, you can shrink wrap eggs. Oops, I'm so sorry. Um, Uh-oh. You can shrink wrap eggs, but... If you follow those rules and guidelines, you won't. You won't have to worry about it. I hope that answers your question maybe a little bit more. Battleborn Urban Farm says, I'm so late. Well, you showed up. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And and uh, thanks, for, thanks for being here. Uh, the Belner Homestead says, I'm excited to get started with quail. Will you be shipping hatching eggs this week? Being a holiday week, I ordered Sexlink Jumbo Quail on December 9th and have my incubator waiting. So excited. Um, we're only going to be shipping tomorrow and a few on Tuesday. Uh, if you want to text me um, tomorrow, 937-760-7282. It's also on the website. Um, I can get you a better date. Most likely, you're not going to go out until Monday of next week because of the holiday. I want to be very careful with that. You could be one of the many orders that go out tomorrow, but I don't know. If you don't receive an order tonight, or if you don't receive a tracking number tonight in an email from Jenna, then you'll go out next week. Um, but I don't know. You can text me and I'll, I'll have a better answer for you. Uh, but I will get them out to you as soon as possible and they will be laid same day, fresh, and we will make sure you are well taken care of. Uh, so stay patient with me and thank you for your patience and understanding so far. <clears throat> I'm switching over to Witch Doctor. Okay, there you go. Thank you very much. Um, Daniel three two seven. David says that's awesome. Big hat should be to, uh, should be big tomorrow. Awesome. So I'm assuming you're on day sixteen. You already got some hatching. That's great. Congratulations. Um, Familia says we will get into the cooking group. Awesome. Uh, Papa's Backyard Garden says, Phil from uh, Long Island, New York. New to raising quail. Have two Nurturite 360s going. Temps and humidity triple checked. And numbers are perfect. We'll keep you abreast. Awesome. Good luck. Keep me posted. And best of luck to you. Um, Deb C says, question, what do the sexling chicks turn into? And can you breed them? I had four thermometers and it was a rough go for my chicks. Is it better to be on the higher side of the temp versus lower? It's not really good to do either one. <laughs> um, the range that you need it to be in, and this is bottom to top, is 
bottom, and I don't recommend it, but bottom is 98.5, top is 100.5. You really wanna be in that 99 to 100 range. Um, the first part of your question was, what do the sex-linked chicks turn into? So when they hatch out, they're going to be pharaoh males, so dark brown males and light red hens, the Egyptians. You can breathe, <clears throat> breathe them together. When you do breathe them together, they will hatch out uh, the dark brown male and female and the light red male and female. And then you could put the light red <clears throat> males with the dark females, the Egyptian males with the pharaoh hens, and create your own sex links for every uh, hatch. I hope that answered your question. If it didn't, please re-ask. Uh, What's Quail Farm says, how long have they been running uh, Papa's Backyard Garden? Um, No, I don't remember seeing that. Um, Witch Doctor says, we are working on make a, making a keto quail nog. Very interesting. Tosa says, my quail refuse to live together. Uh, we did, I did already mention that. Hopefully you heard. Um, the best thing I can tell you is I need you to reach out to me this week uh, and I can try to help you one-on-one. -on -one. That's more of a one-on-one -on -one thing. Um, Kyle Craig says, thanks for everything you do. Every, thanks for everything you do. You have helped me a lot getting my operation going. I don't know why it was, that was so hard for me to read. Uh, well, thank you very much, Kyle. I appreciate it. Thanks for showing up. I really appreciate you. And thanks for supporting the channel. Um, Tosa says, I have done that, the box thing. Yeah, reach out to me this week. I, we'll, we'll figure some things out. I just need a lot more information from you. Um, Storm Riders Wheels is in the house. Hi, Zach. Repeat comment. We bought 50 Jumbo Whites out of 60. I cracked one by accident, but 47 were fertile. 42 hatched, even with the shipping delays of Thanksgiving. Very happy with this hatch. That is awesome. Congratulations. I will write that down. I do believe that your comment was deleted right. I was getting behind, so I apologize about that. Thank you for hanging in there and staying with me and letting me know again. Uh, so we're at 42 out of 50. Oops. 42 out of 50, what'd you say they were? <clears throat> Jumbo White. Jumbo White. That's a great hatch. Congratulations. Uh, and you, I know, are entered into the contest, so you might even be getting some more eggs. So good luck to you. Um, but uh, congratulations. Very proud of you. And uh, keep up the good work. <clears throat> Kevin Butler says the goal video was awesome. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, and thanks for watching. Orlando says, how much do you sell a bird? Uh, that really changes. Um, we've got a lot of options on the website, which you can check out, which is myshirefarm.com. We've got breeder sets, uh, which is five hens and one male for 50 uh, plus shipping. We've got an all female set for 55, which is six hens uh, plus shipping. We've got a teen set, which is straight run, a bunch of different colors that are a lot of fun. That's 10 teens for 50. Uh, and we've got a rare teen set, which is 10 teens for, I don't know how much that one is, 60 maybe? Don't know. Uh, and then we've got an all male set to add new blood to your existing flock, and that is um, 18. They're only $3 a piece uh, for that, which is also good for butchering to try it out. Um, dog training, falconers, reptiles, all kinds of stuff. Um, so we've got a lot of different options on the website. Mo, uh, our Mojo 23 says, is it okay to have 15 hens and three roos in one cage, or do you recommend five in one a cage? The cage would be large enough for 18, but wondering if that causes problems. No, it's called colony. It's called colony breeding. Uh, the video, the special video we're actually doing this week. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon for notifications and click all because I got a really good video for you this week. We'll actually be talking about that and our cages. Uh, and uh, I think it's going to be a great video. But we do <clears throat> colony breeding. And what that is is multiple in each. Uh, so we recommend five hens to one male, but you can obviously do a lot more. So for example, we do 50 hens in a cage plus multiple males, uh, and that's how we do it. We love it. I think that's the best way to go rather than have little sections. Um, so yeah, that's not a problem at all. That's a great question. Um, Daniel327David says, I'm on day 16. Great. You're right on track. Awesome. Wonderful. 
Thanks for letting me know. Um, mm, ooh, I'm a little behind. I got to take a drink, guys. I'm sorry. I'm struggle. I'm starting to struggle a little bit. Oh, it's going to be a long week. Mikor Acres Rick says, one thing I've noticed the most people don't talk about with the more economical incubators is that they are only as good as the room they are in. Stable room temp and humidity is key. That is a very good point. I agree with that. Um, if I'm, I mean, I know they're more affordable, but if you have to baby them, then how much time is it? How much is your time worth before you get one where you don't have to? So I do, I do agree with what you're saying. I agree 100%. It's just a thought process I had. But with me doing all these incubator videos, um, I think we'll have a lot better conversations. <clears throat> Dear Lord. What the Quail Farm says, if you combine the goals video and the record keeping video, you have a really good jump start on having a su successful business. Thank you very much. Uh, if you're looking more into that, uh, check out the record keeping video and the goal video according to What the Quail Farm, and uh, that will help a lot. So thank you very much for that recommendation. Um, Richard Brown says, gave dressed quail and eggs to neighbors for Christmas. Big hit. That's awesome. Congratulations. Uh, that is really cool. Um, Pastime84 says, I did mine at 10 inches as well. Awesome. Matthew says, loved video on cost per bird yesterday. Looking forward to cost per egg video. I will be doing it. It's Christmas. I've got, I really want to tell you what we're doing and what the video will be, but I'm going to make it a surprise. Um, but it's taken me all week, plus Christmas and family. I'm going to try to do the video this week. If not, I promise I'll do it the week after, but I'm hoping to do it this week. Um, we will see. Matthew says, oh, I just read Matthew. And welcome. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for being here. Vernon says, I think all the record keeping and goals will be on the Quail for Profit playlist. Uh, they, I do believe they are. I don't know if I put the goals on the Quail for Profit. Probably should. And I'll write that down as a note. Goals equals Quail for Profit. QFP if you will. <clears throat> <clears throat> Witch Doctor says, I just learned uh, the ferret community love quail for the ferrets. Absolutely, that's a great point. Uh, ferrets, skunks, and you will be surprised how big the ferret and skunk community is. Uh, Familia says, we all have to take care of the chickens and dogs out for the night. Well, thanks for showing up. I really appreciate you, and thanks for contributing tonight. Um, Edgar Bates says, Verna is the queen. Totally awesome. I agree completely. Um, Verna put a lot of links into different Facebook groups. If you want to check those out, I appreciate that. Uh, almost. Yeah, almost. Um, Cali Quail Keeper. Dang it. I know. I said it wrong. Amanda says... Uh, I know you say you're not knowledge on the store-bought incubators, but I'm wondering if anyone on here knows how many quail eggs go into the Harris Farms Nurture Right 360. The instructions are short. It's a good question. We just put 30 in there. Um, we put 30 eggs, and we could have fit another 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I think you can fit 40 in there. Uh, and we're doing a video on the Nurture Right, so I actually know a little bit about that one now. Look at me growing. Uh, Gary Miller Gave me cookies and donuts? Thanks. I actually am very hungry. I did not eat dinner. I didn't eat dinner. That's why I'm so hungry. Um, I give you grace. Thanks, Callie. Uh, Callie Quail Keepers, not Callie. Uh, uh, Psycho Ward 360 says, saying hi from Las Vegas. We're in the kitchen working on egg or quail egg nog. That is super cool. Good luck and best of luck to you. Um, Uh, La Sierra Acres Hatchery. Welcome. Haven't seen you for a while. Hey, Zach. Uh, Joss checking in from Riverside, California. Well, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Uh, thanks for showing up. Uh, DI... Hmm. All right. I'm just going to say Digman. Digman. But that might not be it. If it's not, please let me know. Uh, my Brincia incubator only holds 20 eggs. Will you ship less than 25 if a comment is made when purchased? Um, 
I don't like doing that because you're not getting everything that you ordered. Um, I tell you what. That would be 10 eggs less. I tell you what, I'll put um, a pair of, I'll, I'll do a couple different supplies in the box for you. Uh, so yeah, if you order that, um, yeah, if you order that, what I'll do to make up for the 10 that we wouldn't be sending, um, but I mean, they're still fresh, so you could eat them. You could eat them. But if you still only want the 20, uh, then we'll put a couple of supplies to make up for that uh, five extra dollars you're spending on the eggs. Um, ow, ow. Mm. Uh, I don't like that idea. I don't like that idea. I tell you what, why don't you just reach out to me and I'll just send you a personal invoice for 20 eggs. And then you're just paying for what you get. Let's do that. Unless you want the supplies. Either way. Uh, Cammy and Sarah Moore is in the house. I have a question. We bought some Caternix quail and they laid eggs for two days and then stopped and not anymore. It's been about three weeks. Have any advice on what we're doing wrong? Um, that's a very good question. And um, it is normal for them to stop laying once they are moved. Um, but that's usually about a two week time frame. Uh, so I would recommend, why am I frozen? Am I frozen to you guys? I'm not frozen on here. I'm just frozen on here. Weird. Um, okay. Um, so number one, you need to make sure they're on a good layer feed and they have feed and water at all times. Number two, the best, the other tip I can give you is make sure that if they're outside, they get out of the elements. It's not, I'm not too worried about um, they're okay in the weather. The weather is not a big deal, but elements they need to get out of. Number three is they need 14 to 16 hours of light a day. If those three are, if those three things are happening, um, then reach out to me this week. I'll get some more information from you and we'll help get them kickstarted. Also, if you get some electrolytes, um, we use Save a Chick. They're on our Amazon store. You can purchase as well. Uh, that usually helps kickstart them as well. And this is not on our Amazon store, which I should get. Uh, Verna, if you'll write this down, or Ed Got Bait, or both of you. Um, Rooster Booster also really helps them uh, jumpstart them. That is not on the Amazon store, but I'll put that on uh, tonight, because uh, we use that as well. Uh, so those are the three recommendations. 14 to 16 hours of light, make sure it's a good layer feed, and they are out of the elements. Uh, if those three things are happening, um, the next step would be to add some electrolytes to the water and some uh, rooster booster to their feed uh, for about three days. That should get kickstart them. If that's not the case, then reach out to me. I will uh, ask you to take some pictures of your setup and we will try to figure that out for you. Uh, great question, and thanks for so much for asking. Thanks for being here. Hopefully you're still here and I didn't bore you. Callie Quail Keeper says, enjoy the eggnog season. I don't think I'll be making again this su in summer. Yuck, what's a good recipe for summer drink with eggs, y'all? It's a good question. I don't, I don't have the answer for that. <clears throat> what quail is better for cold weather? They all are about the same. Uh, I wouldn't overthink it. They all do just fine. Um, obviously a little bit larger does a little bit better, but they all, I mean, they're all in the same category. Uh, so whatever you want to get, they'll do just fine. Matthew Van Wert is in the house. What would you, what would be the best feed for growing quail to butcher? And if different, what would be the best feed for egg production? That's a very good question. Uh, it's the same. So if you're growing out the first eight to 10 weeks should be a high protein. Uh, we use a pheasant starter. We've used turkey started starter before that did real well. Anything with a high protein crumble is recommended. I've actually got a feed video you will want to check out on our YouTube channel. Uh, it goes into what we do our star grower and then we switch to our layer feed uh, when they're eight to ten weeks old. We customize that uh, for the best egg production and health for our quail. And we actually show you the ingredients, the percentages, we go through it all. And I've talked to some doctors, PhD, and uh, they specialize in nutrition for animals and, and stuff like that. And I relayed the information, so that video is on there. And Verna just put it in the comments. Uh, so that might help as well. Great question. Rooster is in the house. Another, uh, I 
don't recognize the name, so thank you very much for showing up. I'm glad you're here. Uh, warms my heart to see so many new people joining the community. I'm very, very excited about that. Hey, a little late, but I made it. My breeder set is doing good. Arrived a week ago. When do you think I will start getting eggs? Uh, so they're about three or four weeks old. Well, this time of year, they're probably... Uh, no, we did ship three weeks because they were getting pretty big. Um, so they're three or four weeks old. Uh, so you got them a week ago, so four or five. I would say probably another week to two weeks. Um, and it's normal for the shipping. Like, even if we shipped eight-week-old quail, they wouldn't lay for two weeks because of the stress in shipping. Um, so keep that in mind. But another two weeks, you should be good to go. And best of luck to you, and I'm so happy they all arrived uh, happy and healthy. And uh, good luck to you. Jennifer Meyer says, I'm so thankful for you all. I wish you all a wonderful holiday. You as well. Uh, Merry Christmas to all of you. And uh, thanks for sharing some time with me on Sunday night. And um, I wish you all the best. Will the discount code still work when the Jumbo Wilds become available? No, I'll actually be taking the discount code off, which I don't think anybody on YouTube knew about, so I'll tell them. But... Uh, I could not do auctions this week, and I will not be doing auctions next week. Uh, I do auctions every weekend on our auction page on Facebook, but this week we're redoing a lot of stuff in the barn, which we'll be doing a video on this week. Um, interesting. Um, and uh, anyways, I, I, did, I, I just didn't have the time that I could do auctions. So I gave them a discount. Uh, the discount is only going to go uh, for the next two, or, well, for the next week uh, until I can get back to doing the auctions, but I felt bad. So I gave them a discount. So if you want to use the discount, you can. It is not available for any of the jumbos. Um, it's only available for what's in stock on the website right now, but it's 25% off your entire order, and the coupon code is, oh dear God. Oh God, I don't remember what the coupon code is. What did I make up? Uh, it was holidays. That would make sense. That would make sense. I think it's holidays. I am so sorry. Um, maybe if somebody wants to jump on Facebook real quick and go to the Myshire Farm Quail Egg Auction and tell me what the coupon code is. Sorry. I'll get back to that. Holiday. Okay, so no S. It's just holiday. Thanks, Cali Quail Keepers. Um, oops. So you can take the advantage of it too. I actually meant to write that down. I was going to offer it to you guys, but I forgot. But 25% off for the next week through Christmas, uh, just because I did not have time to do auctions. Uh, and you can take advantage of it too. Um, there's no S. Wait. Okay. Holidays. It has an S. Oh, it does have an S. Oh, dear God. I'm hearing a lot of different things. I think it does have an S. That sounds like something I would do, holidays. But I could be wrong. Try holiday or holidays, but it's 25% off your entire order. It does have the S. Okay, wonderful, thank you. Uh, so the coupon code is holidays. It's 25% off on our website, myshirefarm.com. It's gonna go through Christmas. Whew. Crap, I'm at 10%. Um, how far, oh dear God, okay. Uh, so this is awkward. I have to go get a charger. Or I'm going to lose you. Um, all right. I'm, I'm so sorry. I will be right back. Don't go anywhere and I'll get all the questions and I'll go super fast when I get back, but I got to get a charger. It was 98% when I started. I did not think it was going to go through this fast. Um, I know that's a good discount. I thought so too. Merry Christmas. Um, okay, I'll be right back. I'm so sorry. Oh, dear God. Hi. Okay, I'm back.
Come on, we just gotta plug it. Oh dear God. Things are going to crap, guys. Now I've done it. Now I've done it. Okay. Oh. That's not good. Shouldn't have done that. Okay. Uh, sorry. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go super fast now. Shelly C says, how many meals a week do you eat quail? Oh, um, <laughs> that's a good question. Um, we probably eat quail 10 times a year. But, but, to my defense, I have a problem not selling everything um, because that's just my mindset. But, uh, we talked about it this year and um, I have committed to butchering for our consumption um, 50 quail a month. So I'm probably just gonna do one big one like in a couple of months and just get them all out of the way and then just keep them in the freezer. But uh, the goal is to have quail at least three times, um, three times a month and hopefully we'll do more and more. Uh, but uh, yeah, kind of dropping the ball on that. We used to have it all the time. Um, uh, Michelle Jackson says, that would be me, all right. I will eagerly be awaiting their arrival. Awesome, you'll get a tracking number late tonight. Uh, she might be done. I haven't seen her spend any money for a while. Uh, so that might be over. Uh, Verna says, 169 likes. We're at 185, that's awesome. Thank you, everybody. Hit the like button, support the channel. Let's try to get to 200, because I am greedy. Um, our Mojo 23 says, also from Webster, Wisconsin, another Wisconsinite in the house, and I know that now. Uh, Tamitha Dotty says, what is the discount code? Can't find mine. It is holidays with an S. Uh, it's 25% off. Um, Liam says, Hubby and I found your channel today after the shout out from Living Traditions Homestead. We've been talking about raising quail for a while, but after watching your videos today, we are sold. Awesome. Uh, that is wonderful to hear. Uh, it kind of went to crap on this live tonight, so I'm so sorry. I usually try to do a little bit better, but, uh, you know, it's live, so things happen. I apologize. Uh, but I'm so glad you're here. It's a great community. I'd love for you to be a part of it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, and um, good luck. <clears throat> uh, also, I was today years old when I found out there was a thing called QuailCon. Goal video resonated with both myself and my husband. Thank you. Awesome. I'm glad you liked the video. And yes, QuailCon is coming in September again. We're going to have QuailCon number two. It's our second annual QuailCon 2022, and uh, it's going to be off the hook. Ten times better than last year. I'm super excited about it, so stay tuned for more information on that. Um, that is true. You can order now and put a note that you want them a certain time that you can use any code that you have and get them later. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you could do that. Hit the like button. It's free. I like that too. Yeah, if you wanted to order now and get them like mid-January or whatever, you can use the coupon code now and just put it in the notes section when you're wanting them. Um, Which doctor says, Zach, remember the DMSO? Uh, it will knock that bug right out. Uh, yeah, I, yeah I, I need to do better at that. You're right, you're right. Um, this is typical of men, Zach, so you were trying to woman up. Yes, I am trying to woman up on my sickness, absolutely. Um, Lisa Am says, thanks for dropping by. Love living traditions. Absolutely, I love uh, Kevin and Sarah. They are fantastic people. They're doing fantastic videos, and uh, they really inspire me and uh, I'm glad that we were able to work with them. Um, and yeah, I'd love to see you at the con. We have a great time. It's gonna be, it's gonna be great. Wait for the details. Uh, guys, hit the like button. Uh, see if we can get to the 200 mark. That would be awesome. Hit the like button, support the channel. Um, Zach, ginger and garlic go a long way. I hear you, I hear you. Problem is I like to complain, I just don't like to do anything about it. But uh, yeah, I, I'll, I'll take care of it. I got to, because I cannot get sick. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. 
Uh, Liam says, I'm excited to start. That is awesome. I'm very excited that you and your husband are excited. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm always available. Well, I don't want to say I'm always available. You can always reach out and I will get back with you. I should probably say it that way. I get a little busy sometimes. Uh, Ed, got by, uh, Ed Got Bait says, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, Zycam. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Um, I mean, I can guess what it is. I just haven't heard it. Uh, Zach, we ordered the drill in plucker. I'll give you a review when we use it probably after Christmas. Excellent. Uh, she ordered it. Um, they ordered a couple things from Amazon and, uh, they're going to try them out and we will put them in the customer reviews if they like them. Uh, I trust witch doctors, um, recommendations. And, uh, so we will see how that goes. <clears throat> Um, Liam says, we're excited and going to the QuailCon and going to QuailCon would be awesome. Hopefully you can make it. I'm very excited about it. We've got some big things planned. Uh, Roger, uh, Roger's Ice House. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Whew. I don't know why that was so hard for me. Uh, hatching my first jumbos from AJ Farms this morning. Awesome. Congratulations. Uh, best of luck to you. And if you have any questions, feel free to feel free to ask and uh, best of luck to you. That's great. Congratulations. I'm glad you're starting your journey. Uh, Kyle Craig says, what is the best quail for cold weather? They all do pretty well. Obviously the bigger the quail, they'll do a little bit better, but they all do fine. I mean, they're all in the same category completely. Uh, they'll do just fine. Yeah. What the quail farm. You're right. We should, we should tell them. Um, quail are addicting and, um, I'm not going to apologize for it. Moving on. Uh, let's see. Zach, uh, they may not be your eggs. They are hatching, but they are your grand eggs. Well, there you go. I'll take that. I like that. Um, Grandpa Zach. Hey, not yet. That's too far. Too far. I'm not ready for that yet. I'm, I, I got my oldest daughter's 19 at the end of this month. And then I've got a 16 year old and then a 13 and then a 12 and then a 10. And uh, I'm not ready, guys. I'm too young for that. I don't want it. Oh, it stresses me out. Um, watch out for the quail math one. I can't stop getting more quail. There you go. Uh, hope you and your daughter are feeling better for Christmas. My daughter's hundred percent back to normal. Um, and I will be too. I'll be fine. Matthew says request to join quail in the kitchen on Facebook. Awesome. We'll get you approved as soon as possible. Happy Hoppers Homestead says, sounds like you need some elderberry syrup. I probably should. There's a lot. Yeah. I, I have to take care of it this time. I can't just ignore it. <clears throat> um, there we go. Stony Bulldog says fried quail, stuffed quail, bacon wrapped quail, tacos, quail stew, quail corn, Don Blue. That is quite a bit of options. Yes. And they sound delicious. I am starving, everyone. Um, hit the like button, support the channel. We only need five more likes. Uh, all right. I'm still almost... Lord, I'm 40 minutes behind. Here we go. I'm going to go real fast. Zach, saw this on the chicken group today where someone was asking about quail. Uh, what you were trying not to say last week, someone called male marin... I don't know what that is. Oh, I do know what you're saying now. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, Joy says, I have a little giant incubator. First hatch was 42 out of 61 eggs, my own eggs. Second hatch was 61 out of 109. Also, my own eggs did not candle. I had a hard time keeping the temp and humidity consistent. Uh, I hear that a lot, uh, but we're going to do the video on it, and I'm going to just confirm for myself before I just tell no, no one should get that. Uh, 
Uh, just completed my third stackable brooder while listening. Have a nice night. Awesome. Congratulations and best of luck to you. Uh, Daniel327 David says, I just printed paper under my little giant to help control humidity. I also converted to force air to solve temp flux. There you go. I'm glad you're working on it. Um, La Rochelle Farm says, have a good night. All oh, absolutely. Thanks for showing up. I appreciate you. Um, Helps block up draft from the lower vent holes. All right. Night night all. See you tomorrow night. Thank you very much for showing up. Mikor Acres Rick. And hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Jesse Mill says, just got back home. Loretta loved hearing your name and you talking about her quail. Wonderful. I tried to make that a, a point. So uh, that is wonderful to hear and tell her good night. Uh, Michael Burton says, if you have to add water to an incubator during lockdown to raise humidity at day 16, do you have to worry about the shrink wrap problem? I did answer that. I don't know if you got it. Long story short is no, just have a good process. Um, make sure the temp is 99.5. Humidity is between 65 and 75%. I prefer 75. The danger zone for humidity is anything over 85%. And when you take them out of the incubator after 24 hours, make sure you have a little box, open the incubator, take them out of, take them Put them in the box, close up the incubator as quickly as possible, and you'll be just fine. Don't overthink it. Um, I know I said all that real fast, but I answered that earlier too. So um, hopefully that helps. Stacy Mullins is in the house wishing you all very blessed and Merry Christmas. May you have time to reflect on the best gift we have ever received. Good night. Absolutely. Thanks for showing up. I appreciate you. And honestly, I cannot wait till Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Uh, Christmas Eve, my fam my my mom and grandma are coming over and we're going to do that. Uh, Christmas morning, we're going to go over uh, to her parents' house. And then Christmas evening, I am going to get back to work. But that is the routine. Michael Sullivan is in the house. Uh, we have white wing jumbos and a breeder set available this spring. Thanks for the valuable information. Um, so we don't do specifics. However, with that being said, you could do a breeder set and you can put in the notes that you request certain things and we will do our very best. Uh, we try to put in, so we try to put in 300 eggs a week. So that means we can ship out 300 quail a week because it's rotating, it's revolving. Um, and we try to put in some of every single color. So it's possible, but on the website, you can't actually purchase a specific breeding group because, well, I, I can't. I, I can't do that. We tried to do that before and, and I just can't do it. It's not in the wheelhouse for me, but you can request that and we can do the very best we can for you. So the answer would be yes. It might take a couple of extra weeks, but for sure. Uh, Jesse Mill says it will be busy Christmas here. I have 60 eggs from Whiskey Tanko Farm due to hatch on Christmas. 60 SSC, which is the Schofield Silver, uh, from my auction win to go into lockdown that day. That is awesome. You are blowing it up. Congratulations and best of luck to you. And obviously, keep me posted. Uh, Matthew says, what kind of feed is best for starting growing quail for meat? And if different, what would be the best for egg production? For starter grower, it's the same. I answered this before. Um, so I'm going to go real quick. We have a feed video uh, on our YouTube channel. Uh, much smarter people than me answered the questions. I just relayed the information to you. We show you what we use. We use a high protein uh, pheasant starter for the first eight to 10 weeks. And then we use uh, a customized feed that we do for our Caternix quail. And all that information is on that video. And that should help you quite a bit. Um, just got your email in. Just got our email in. Babies are on their way. Awesome. Congratulations. I'll ship them out tomorrow. Jenna is obviously still spending money because I just got the notification. Whew. Uh, shipping's expensive, guys. Um, incubators lie. That's right. That's where we were talking about that. Uh, I can never find the story by searching in Amazon. I'm sorry. Can someone post the store link, please? Uh, Verna did just below. Uh, Don Ray B., uh, that should be on a shirt deck. Incubators lie. That is true. Uh, Ed got bait. Why don't you send me that and I'll put that in our store. Uh, if you didn't know, I do have a merch store now on YouTube. Uh, it's in the links on all the descriptions. Plus it's on the about page. It says my Shire gear. There's some cool stuff on there you can check out, but I'll be upping, updating that every quarter. 
uh, and bringing out new stuff. So maybe Incubators Live will be the next shirt. Uh, hello from Southwest uh, Pennsylvania. 100% incubators and cheap Amazon thermometers lie. A. Wilson. Absolutely. I agree 100%. Unfortunately, it sounds as though that maybe you have experience with that. Uh, so I'm sorry to hear that. Here we go. Mayor Lynn Ruttenberg. Look at me. Look at me learning. I use the heating pad and brooder heating pla plate combo. So much less awkward than the lamp I started with. Awesome. Thanks for sharing. Uh, we'll be trying that out as well. And uh, I appreciate you giving us your feedback. Um, how do hens increase humidity in a natural hatch? I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know the answer to that. I probably should know the answer to that. I feel like I should. It's kind of embarrassing I don't. Jenna will know. I'm going to ask her. She's going to give me this, the right answer, and it's going to make me so mad. Oh, she's so much smarter than me. Um, okay, here's a question. Garcia Short says, are the Jumbo Whites 100% white or might be able to, might I get a couple of browns too? Uh, what did we do this year? Last year. So those would be bred out of it. No, you should get all whites until next year. And then we've got to change the bloodline. Nope, you should get all whites. Yeah. Was that this year? I don't think that was this year. No, you should get all whites. What the Quail Farm says, been watching videos of how to sex eggs. The more pointy eggs are male, the rounder eggs are female. Is that true? Nope, that is false. If that was true, I would have a lot more money. So, not true. Um, I'm going to mispronounce your name. I'm so sorry. I got to pick up the pace. Uh, I'm sorry for mispronouncing it in advance, but Russo? It's not right. Hi, can I get an idea when, what you do with fly management other than cleaning the area, starting off small and I'm already getting a bunch of visitors and wondered it might be a big problem where when I when I get more. It's a good question. Flies are obviously a big issue. Um, you wanna keep your cherries clean. If you can, use a hose or a pressure washer and clean around the cage. Um, that seems to help a lot. Um, ventilation is key. Um, and those strips, like you can get at Tractor Supply or whatever, which should also go on the Amazon store because we use those. Um, Ed got bait. If you'll do fly strips uh, and send that to me as well, or Verna, uh, fly strips for the Amazon store. But we do these fly strips. We put them on the outside of the cages. And man, does that, I mean, they're amazing. Amazing. Those are a couple of ideas, but uh, you're never going to get rid of all the flies. Um What's the name of the quail cooking channel? Quail in the Kitchen on Facebook. And I think that quail, Cali Quail Keepers is actually their YouTube handle as well, and they have a channel they're doing videos on as well. But Facebook is the Quail in the Kitchen. Somebody already said that. Uh, Logan says, I have one male and five females. I hatched out 16 chicks. I had them in my cages and my dog chewed through the wire, killing all the chicks. However, my breeders are fine. I am so sorry to hear that. Um, again, I mean, we had a disaster this week in the brooder as well. It happens. Uh, just don't give up. Don't get discouraged. It just, we got to keep up the, just got to keep it up. We got to keep going. Uh, Kelly Ford says, hello from North Car North Central Arkansas. Wanted to let you know I got six tier Wynola cage and it is awesome. Also 52 out of the 60 eggs that I just put into lockdown California. That is awesome. Congratulations. Best of luck to you. Uh, Wynola Ranch is the best. I love Wynola Ranch cages and, um, you might get 50 out of 50 because you would have ordered 50 Kelly. So, uh, great. Good job. Keep it up and uh, obviously keep me posted on the hatch. Best of luck to you. Um, candled fertile will let you know the hatch absolutely wouldn't really want to know uh, and that's great numbers great numbers you're doing great thank you Ed 
Uh, hi all, over here in Arizona, will quail survive our heat from Grace Garden 2009? Yep, absolutely. Uh, quail are very weather... They do great in weather. I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but yeah, I mean, we have people that raise them in New Mexico, Arizona, Texas, um, Florida, really hot and humid. We have customers in uh, Alaska, uh, you know, Wisconsin, Minnesota, where it gets really cold, and they do just fine. They just need it hardy. Thank you very much. They just need to get out of the elements. Um, so make sure they can get out of the weather, out of the snow, out of the rain, all that jazz, but the weather is not going to affect them at all. Great question, especially not the heat. Um, is 10 inches best for jumbos as well? Um, yeah, I still like the 10 inches uh, male or for jumbos or standards. I still like the 10 inch height. Uh, what are quail scissors used for? Cooking? Yes, absolutely. Uh, and uh, if you're going to cook them at all, then I highly recommend you get a pair of scissors. They are life-changing, if I have to say so myself. Um, Trevor says, oh, I need to work on my quail eggnog, eggnog recipe. Absolutely, I'd love to see some. Um, I may have something that'll do better as ice cream. Very interesting, I'd like to know about that. Um, Everyone have a good week and safe one good night and have a safe one. Good night, Frank. Uh, thanks for showing up. I appreciate you and thanks for your support. Hit the like button, support the channel. I greatly appreciate it. And we are at 206 now. So thank you very much for all of your support, guys. I appreciate it. Um, not frozen. Oh, okay. It was just me. DIY G-Man. Thanks. We'll contact you before I order. Okay. I thought it was, but I screwed it up. Sorry. Uh, are your electrolytes on the Amazon store? Yes, they are. Um, milkshakes made using ice cream and used quail eggs in. Huh, interesting. Uh, yeah, the electrolytes are on the website. Uh, Michael Burton says, I have a bag of mealworm and sunflower for backyard poultry uh, that has cracked corn, sunflower seed, flax seeds, mealworms, raisins, and peanut pieces. Could I give this to my quail? Yeah, absolutely. They would love it. Um, Cali Quail Keeper says, Garcia Shorts, Zach misled on that account soon. Hope to see you. What did I mislead on? Oh, I thought your YouTube channel was up and running. I am so sorry. Crap. They're on Facebook then. She's doing videos on Facebook right now. Sorry. My bad. See, I shouldn't talk. Lives are not a good idea for me. Misty says, Zach, I got a question. When chickens stop laying a little dry, cat food helps kickstart them to lay again. Would cat food be okay for quail? And do you think that would work for quail? Some people do use cat food as feed. Um, <clears throat> you could. Some people do it. Everybody does their own thing. That's I love quail because, every, you know, you can raise quail in a bunch of different ways. My thought on it, is I do not like to change their feed at all. Um, if they stop laying because of predators or scared or weather or lights or whatever the case may be, molting, whatever, the best thing to do is keep everything consistent and they'll start back up. Once you start changing things, you're delaying that, is my thought. Your idea is not a bad one. I don't think I'm willing to test that theory because we have our own system. But you could test it. It's not going to kill them. Um, and, and people use cat food. That's, that's my thoughts on it. Uh, our quail love leftover pumpkin. Absolutely. Um, Dana King says, breeder set shipped any special care after, the tr after their trip? Uh, no, they're good to go. Uh, we're going to give them plenty of food, plenty of water, uh, plenty of uh, veggies. We uh, have plenty of cucumbers to put in there for three days. They should only be two, um, but uh, they'll be taken care of. And when you get them, they're off the heat lamp so they can go wherever you need them to go and just enjoy them. Uh, and if you did order, which I'm assuming you did, uh, keep me posted and uh, let me know they arrived happy and healthy. Cali Quail Keepers is not talking to me, not talking to me. Holidays, yes. You said you had an announcement when you got caught up. Crap. 
Well, I talked about the discount, and then I talked about the Zeke thing. I think I mentioned it. Um, thank you, everybody, for checking it out. I could not, could not think about that. That is a good discount. It is, it is. Remember, our discount, 25% off on our website all this week. Use the coupon code HOLIDAYS with an S. Um... Run, Forrest, run. I think we should have Oh Dear God as a discount code. Yeah, I say that a lot, too. Uh, Wiley's Way, if you haven't joined Quail Call, you should. Absolutely, S.O. Swanson. Uh, it's a great group. And honestly, yeah, Quail, Quail Call is another Facebook group. Verna put the link in the comments. And um, Steve, or S.O. Swanson and PJ's Family Farm is really, I mean, they are... They are taking off with that. They're doing spotlights. They're doing uh, picture contests. They're, we're having a lot of fun in those groups. So please join and uh, support them. They are growing a community, and I, I couldn't be more proud of uh, being a part of them. Um, the discount code is Tupperware. It is not. It's holidays with an S. Uh, nice, Zach. Have Jenna post. Um, yeah. I, I will talk to her about it. I think she was planning on doing something this week and then and then Maddie got sick and now it's Christmas and I'll, I'll work on it. I'm working to have it at least once a week for me, twice a week for Lucy, and that's for the, the meals. Uh, Ten times a year, did you get burnt out from eating quail? No, I just got a corporate account that takes all of our males and all of our old breeders and I wasn't, I, I wanted the money. Um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set some back for us this year because we should do that and I'm failing at that. Uh, Miss Carmen says, help, I got flies. I, we did talk about this for just a minute. I'll, I'll mention it very quickly. A couple things you can do is fly strips, which I'll be putting on the Amazon store tonight. Uh, those help. Um, try to wet the floor. Um, that seems to help. Um, make sure you're cleaning out the cages and um, any ventilation, any, any, any fan, any fan and, and flow. Uh, will really help with that as well. But there's always going to be flies, unfortunately. Trevor says, I like to make it crispy with the skin. Absolutely. Uh, dear goodness, don't tempt me with more hatching eggs. 25% off my Shire eggs. Sorry, I had to. Um, smoothies uses eggs. There you go. Um, I put 10 hens for Balut and for my dog food. Awesome. There you go. Uh, so if we hatch our own from the first batch we hatch from you, will we have issues with inbreeding? Do we need to purchase roosters from someplace else? No, uh, we recommend, um, it's really good for three years. You're good for three years and then maybe introduce some new blood. Um, but, uh, we take care of all that here. Uh, so you don't have to worry about inbreeding or anything like that. So you are good to go for years uh, without even have to, having to worry about it. Um, has anyone freeze-dried quail meat? Uh, how did it turn out? Uh, my wife has, but I don't know anything about it. I just eat. So I don't, I don't have a lot of information on that. I don't know either. Uh, not talking to me. I have a bag of mealworm. Oh, I already answered that. Yes, they'll love it. Eat it. Uh, and that was from Michael Burton. Um, sheesh, I'm getting hungry. I know, I'm starving. And you guys are all talking about these recipes. Um, do you have Do you have to let cold quail set in the fridge a few days before freezing? Uh, some recommend f doing that for 24 hours. We haven't. We eat them same day, later on that night. Um, but you can, um, they'll be a little bit tougher, but they taste great. So we, we butcher and eat the same day. Uh, but a lot of people say 24 hours. So I would just do both and see which one you like the most. Um, 201 thumbs up. We're at 209. You guys are absolutely awesome. Thanks so much. Uh, Dana King says any special care needed for the breeder set on arrival? Nope. You are good to go. We will make sure it's all taken care of for you. Um, so they'll have plenty of food, plenty of water in there. You get them, enjoy the colors, have fun and start collecting eggs in just a couple of weeks. Um, and let me know that they arrived happy and healthy. Leadership Helps Desk says you are not 
you are not self-sufficient unless you are free-ranging or own the grain mill and the farm, sorry. Uh, I agree, but um, very few people are fully self-sufficient, uh, but the goal is to be more self-sufficient, um, and we are doing better than a lot. And um, the way I grade myself, the way I rate myself, is are we doing better than we were before? Are we more self-sufficient than we were 10 years ago? Are we more self-sufficient than we were last year? And if the answer is yes, then uh, I'm okay with that. I'm good. So, Kelly Ford says, question, my Egyptians are five weeks old today. I'm having trouble feather sexing them. How old do they have to be to vent sex? Um, if they're Egyptians, you should be able to feather sex easily. Um, vent sexing is awful. Uh, but I do have a video on vent sexing if you want to do that. But feather sexing, the feather, pa the if there's a pattern on the chest, if there's speckles on the chest, they're hens. If they're rusty chests, they're males. If you're not still getting it, what I would recommend is you text me this week a picture of two of them. I will sh I will respond back which one's a male, which one's a female, and then you could go off those pictures and say, yep, that's it, that's it, and that might help a lot as well. Uh, Busy Bee Garden says, good evening, Zach. Good evening, everyone. Is there such thing as quail egg not worth incubating? Too small, too big, odd shape or color? Um, I mean, you can try everything. Usually the, um, like the ones that are like fading white aren't really that good, um, but they could still hatch. Uh, typically, I don't like to incubate anything under seven grams, and that's super low. We don't do that anymore, but that's how we started. Uh, way back in the day, everybody said that the average uh, egg size for Caternix quail standard was nine grams. Well, now we're at over 11 um, on uh, all of our colors, not jumbos, all of our colors. Um, so we are really doing a lot there. Uh, so I would say nothing less than seven um, and nothing more than 21. Um, 20 is a little iffy, uh, so maybe you want to do 20 or 19. Um, but that's kind of the thought process behind it, so you can kind of figure that out. Okay, thanks guys. Wet poop bad. Got it. I'll look into fly traps and huge zappers. I saw a video on insect repellent plant. Also, I think it was lemongrass and some kind of herb. Has anyone tried it? I have not. That sounds pretty cool though. Uh, speaking of, is there a video on free ranging in the channel? Uh, there is not. Um, no, there is not. Uh, we don't free range our Caternix. Um, we used to have them in an aviary. We used to have them in a tra uh, quail tractor. And we've talked about that before. Um, but because we're a business, um, free range is, you know, well, first of all, they can't free range. They have to be in an aviary. They still have to be enclosed in some way. They get to have a lot more room, but they have to be enclosed. Uh, but because we ship so many eggs and things like that, uh, that's just not realistic for us. Um, What cage do you recommend for jumbos? Very good question. I recommend the My Shire Edition Wynola Ranch cage. It is amazing. Um, we have a video on assembling it from Pop of the Builder. It's under Quail Products playlist as well. I saw a video not using the incubator to hatch eggs, uh, used coconut, hula, and sun. Sounds like a lot of work. Um, interesting. Humidity and broody hens. The eggs get their moisture from direct skin contact under the broody hen. Some hens will pluck feathers to help to expose skin. That makes perfect sense. And I knew that. I knew that. Didn't come to me. And I never would have told you, but now that you said it, I completely know. So how in nature quail will uh, increase the humidity is exactly what he said. Uh, the eggs get their moisture from direct skin contact under the broody hen. So sometimes they'll pluck, pluck some of the feathers out to help to expose the skin. God, I knew that. Oh, that makes me mad. Uh, Zach, those ideas will be in my usual Sunday night email. Thank you very much. Um... I've read the black soldier flies actually suppress regular black house flies. Possible option for folk and warmer pets. That is a good idea as well, James. Actually, that's a great idea. It's a great idea. Um, 
do they good, do good in heat? Absolutely, Susan Kruger. Uh, they are very heat and cold hardy. Um, weather does not bother them at all. Uh, they're very, very, very hardy. Uh, it was minus four degrees in northern New Mexico this morning. I wish I had some of the Arizona heat. Absolutely, me too. Um, Logan Graves, thanks for showing up. I really appreciate you. <clears throat> Callie Quail Keeper says, don't worry, you're putting a fire under my butt. Thank you. I'm sorry. I, I thought, I'm sorry. Uh, Don Nichols says, just put Jumbo Egyptian in lockdown last night. Have a few wiggling. Can't wait till they hatch. Will you, we'll let you know my hatch rate. Got 30 eggs from you beginning of December. Awesome. Best of luck to you. And obviously, keep me posted. Um, Verna says, Zach, one ounce of ground cat food to three pounds of chick starter is just, is just to up the protein. There you go. Um, Ow. Not talking to me, not talking to me. A bunch of links for Verna put in there. Uh, check those out. If anyone wants to join Quail Call, please answer all the questions. Thanks. Thank you very much, PJ's Family Farm. We're trying to eliminate a bunch of spam. Um, quail pot pie. I'm so hungry. Can I feed quail whole hemp seed? Uh, I do have some customers that do that, and they do do that. Well, I like Some of them do whole, and some... Um, you know, grind, um, and both of them swear by it. So I think you can do either one. I've not tried that though. Thank you for recommendations. Dale's Quails ordering his brooders in three tier set. Awesome. Uh, we love Dale, Dale's Quails. He's got great product. Uh, he's trying to be more self-sufficient. It's a family owned business. Uh, he does it himself and, uh, and it's great, great product. Um, great product. I'm very impressed with it, uh, completely. Are any hens ever born with chests that have both male and female features, some dotting only? Um, usually they're just maturing a little slower, so you usually have to give it an extra week. Um, yes, so that can happen, but um, we actually call those in the brooder. Uh, so at three weeks old, if we can't feather sex it, it's gone immediately. I don't want it in the, I don't want it in the barn. Um, but sometimes they just, you know, they take a little bit longer to mature. So that just wait a little bit and that dotting, uh, will either fade away into rust or maintain, uh, and become more prominent. Uh, when is the 360 incubator video coming out? Uh, I believe they go into lockdown on Friday. So Christmas Eve, they'll be hatching on Monday. Um, and, uh, we'll do the video mid next week. So about a week. Um, Busy Bee Garden says, thanks for the thanks for the info. I'm learning new things every day. Awesome. I'm glad that we're helping. And thanks for being a part of the community. Amanda says, my hub said to use lemongrass oil to bring in the bees. Very interesting. Any chance my hens might go broody? Uh, they can. Uh, a couple people on here uh, have been doing it. Um, it, it. Katrina is one. Jasmine is another. Uh, both of them have gotten broody hens. More of a natural environment. Uh, but yeah, it's completely possible. Um, Carrie says, I've been using a reptile ceramic bulb in the brooder. Definitely a lot safer than bulbs. There you go. Uh, we have those on the Amazon store as well. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my last comment. It is 10 o'clock. What time do I start? 7, 8, 9, 10, 3 hours. That was a lot of comments. That was a lot of comments. I'll, I'll take it. A lot of people showed up. I really appreciate you all. Um, so just uh, a reminder, tomorrow, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Whiskey Tane Go Farms Live. I'll be on there. Check that out. I'll be going live here at 8 p.m. Now, when I'm on Whiskey Tango Farms, we're not going to be doing Q&A. We're, we're giving you a big announcement. So make sure you check that out on their YouTube channel, uh, Whiskey Tango Farms. Um, so that's that. Then I'll be coming to mine for a very fast, quick live Q&A. Uh, I will be doing uh, a short this week asking for your help. So watch for that. I think, I, I could be wrong. I think you only get notifications if you are subscribed and have the bell uh, for my, my shorts. They're only 15 seconds long. Uh, so check that out because uh, I'd like as much feedback as possible. Uh, all the Jumbos, except for the Jumbo Wilds, will be back on the website January 1st, except for the Jumbo Wilds, which will be back on January 7th, because um, we had a disaster. 
Um, I do have a very good, exciting video coming for you this week. Um, I think you're really going to like it. Something really new that I really think it's going to help a lot. And I will try my very best to do the quail math uh, for eggs this week. I got a lot going on, but I will do my very best. Uh, and last but not least, Merry Christmas to all of you. Thank you all very much for your support, watching the videos, being part of the community, hanging out, answering questions, asking questions, hitting the like button, uh, donating to the channel. You guys are just absolutely the best. I'm so happy to be a part of this community, and, uh, and I really appreciate you. Um, so we will see you tomorrow at Whiskey Tango Farms, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and... Uh, we really appreciate all of you. Thank you very much for all that you have done. And uh, until next time, like always, be safe.